Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to A, a podcast, podcast Will Save, save this, this Relationship. I'm Josh E. Him. I'm Sarah She Her. And on today's podcast. I, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> One time a friend of mine, uh, Cameron, who we both know, told yeah. us that we needed a like a like a theme song. Like a but up bup. Like a way to enter it in. And I think about it every time we do the intro. The intro yeah. Because I'm like, that's it. What else do we need on yeah, top? Yeah, what else do we need? How many intros are we going to wow, fucking what have? A, what a guy that knows a lot about podcasting, telling, <laughs> fucking mansplaining how to do a fucking podcast. <laughs> like, I don't get that enough for my I, job I, anyway. I think it was genuine. I don't. I think he was I trying to care. help. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Anyway, okay. this week on the podcast, we talked about um, uh, Guitar Center, did we? Yeah, oh yeah. We talked about Guitar Center you and did. a bad experience we had at Guitar Center. One bad experience we had at Guitar Center. I talked about creative industries like the writer strike and shit, mm. and yeah. how they're all connected, even though they're not. And what? Well, <laughs> how you feel how about it? I feel it. about it. Yeah, how I That's feel about important. it. Yeah, and then we did Star Kit. Yeah, and then we did our Reddit and listener stories, as per usual. And nah, it was no great. listener stories. No, it was, it was all I, Reddit. I Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, enjoy the show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell. All the timestamps are in the description. As, Indeed. And uh, you'll be able to skip to the right portion if you like. Uh, but raise five stars on Apple and Spotify if you can. Check out our Patreon, buy me coffee, both of those websites, forward slash ABWSDR. Yeah. And enjoy the show. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye. You know what else is a bad business? What else is a bad business? Guitar Center. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you want to jump right into it? I fucking hate Guitar Center so much. <laughs> I was going to ask you how your day's going, no, but fuck no. that shit. We you went to Guitar to... Center and it sucked ass. Welcome back to, we took a week off and went to Guitar Center one of the days that we had off and then uh, it yeah. sucked ass. <laughs> it sucked so much ass. Josh, what do you remember? Um, I remember the, the roach. roach. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> shit. Uh, okay, yeah, so we went, We I remember, um, okay, so we went there because we wanted to look for guitars for you, specifically. I have been wanting to get a guitar set up at home and like a, like a, like an adult yeah. guitar, like a fucking $700 guitar, so I want to make sure it's correct. Yeah. The one that I'm buying, so because wanna, I want to make sure. You go and play it, which because makes I, sense. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, this one plays like butter. And I'm like, does it though? Because yeah. I played a lot of guitars, and they all kind of feel like a fucking guitar. They don't yeah. feel like a stick of fucking butter. Yeah, it's moved like a a very solid refrigerated piece of butter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. I remember we wanted to do that. I wanted to go too because I want to get new um stands eventually. And yeah, I just want to know like price. Yeah, these are like cheap. Like I mean, I guess I they're think they were like twenty dollars. No, they're plastic as shit. Dog. Yeah, these are plastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like I don't know, fucking I want to get like maybe metal stands. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking eventually like upgrading the mics. Not even to like SM7Bs, like maybe like a 58 or something. Okay. Cuz like I don't I hate like when I'm editing and I just hear the Yeah. And it's it's annoying and I usually forget to cut it out and I know that I know some people will complain about it and I don't like it either, so I get the complaints, you know. <laughs> yeah. But like I mean, these are fine microphones for as long as we have we had them for years. We've had them for a while, yeah. Like and they've this is, been okay. Yeah, but it's just the noise thing and also like sometimes carrying the mic, you know. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to make too much noise with it. So I like going to test out mics and also like look at drum kits because I used to drum a lot as a kid. <laughs> yeah. It it's it was a luxury we were trying to, you know, we don't need these things. No, of course not, no. But we were like, let's just check it out because maybe we'll have some money soon and we want to buy it. Yeah, right? Who knows? It. I don't know. Just you know, for I us for make fun. This, I want to be able to make more stuff and also enjoy making stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I have a lot more time, so I've been like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should get back into music because I haven't played guitar in like a year and a half, almost two years. Yeah, and I think, I don't know, you have, like, this yeah. guitar skill. It's, you know, you should be able to, like, play right. it and, like, enjoy it. Yeah, and every time I listen to music, I think about, like, oh, that would be fun to play. And, like, yeah. you know, it's something that, I I don't know, I think it would be really sad if I stopped playing music for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? I feel that. And speaking of really sad guitar set. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Um, <laughs> um, I will say, at, the, at first, I wasn't definitely, I was, because I wasn't, I'm not the guitar person. Yeah. So I don't care when there's, like, a bunch of people at the guitar thing i'm like that's not my section my section's in the back <laughs> i know and there's they no push. one there ever because, because they're no all one. trying to sell guitars yeah because it is guitar center that, so i that, understand yeah. but i am the guitar person and i'm a woman 
and I'm fat. So it's hard. I could count the number of women in there on my, like, one hand. It was me. There was a, another person that came in after us, like oh. a couple. Yeah. But, but did you she were also, play yeah. the guitar? No, she was holding the baby while the guy played the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, wish so. I fucking wish, man. <laughs> and uh it's I feel like every time I go in, I try to fucking, you know, you pick up a guitar and then a sweaty a sweaty man, 35 years old, towering over you comes over and goes, "Do you need any help? Do hey, you want? Do you need any hey, help? Need help at all? Like, hey, hey baby, hey, hey, you need any help?" Do you need any help? And he's not trying to fuck you. No. No, he's not like he's attracted to, to you. He's trying to sell a guitar to you. He's Worse. trying to sell a guitar to you or get you out of his store because you don't know what the fuck guitars are. You think you're a little girl and you think yeah. you can pick up a guitar. Women don't play guitar, actually. You know that? <laughs> so I have to be like, no, I'm okay. And he's like, okay, you're sure? And I'm like, yes. Hey, do you need me to tune that for you? I, I can. Do, uh, let me tune that for you. He did. He did then, tune it for you. He did, and then I was out of tune still, so I start tuning it, and he comes out to me while I'm tuning it, and is like, oh, I think there's an intonation problem on that one. And then he uses like, one of those clip-on guitar tuners, which I did notice, because yeah, those, those suck pocket. ass, and yeah. they're not correct. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm at the point, I played viola for like fucking 20 years. I played guitar for a long fucking time. Yeah, so you know your shit. Yeah, you know. I know literally any other tuner other than Guitar Tuna, the app on your phone, is gonna be incorrect. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. And you do that until you get an ear where you can tune fifths tune it, yeah. and fourths. And then you do that with yeah. your ears. With your ears. Tune it with your ears. But yeah, Fuck. so he does that, and he tells you that there's yeah, there's just an intuition problem. And then he gives and it back away. to him <laughs> yeah. and walks away. And then he says, and then this is the real selling point: is that oh, we'll fix it for you if you buy it. Yeah, and then uh, the you know, the, the after- guy that does the um luthier, the guitar, the luthier, is like fucking. I'm not gonna let you walk out of here with an in, in uh, with a shitty guitar. And I'm like. I but would I'm playing fucking it though. hope so. Yeah, that would be fucking crazy. But I have to pay money for you to fix <laughs> into yeah, nature problem. I have to pay the full price of this guitar right now to make sure this gets fixed, and then it's gonna also play differently <laughs> because you fixed the problem with it. And no one knows this about me because I'm a woman with a pussy. But <laughs> yeah. I used to work at a string shop where my job was to dust, retune, restring. A bunch of stringed instruments. Yeah. So that if anyone came in, they could pick one up off the wall and they would play and it would be in tune. A thing that no one does at Guitar Center, apparently. No one. And they never have and they never will. Yeah. It's not in their policy. They don't teach anyone how to do it. Yeah. It's, it's just the like Luthier's job to restring a guitar. And you know what? Yeah. I'm going to sound like an old fart right now. Do it. People that buy guitars think that they have to take their guitar back to Guitar Center. To restring their guitar. This is actually making fun of me. Actually, this is. Do, do you do that? No, I don't do that I now. I think for basses, it's a little harder. Well, uh, when I was uh, like maybe 13, 14, and I got the first guitar, like I didn't know anything about guitars tuning, so I did bring it to a guitar center to get restringed. And how much was, was that? Twenty fucking dollars. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. it was twenty fucking dollars. Yeah. Every time you have to restring your guitar, you're putting steel on an instrument, and if you don't yeah. play it, it's gonna have rust on it within three months. That's twenty more fucking dollars, yeah. and then you don't want to play guitar because it's twenty dollars every time every you want to play. play it. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I will say I've not gone back. To, uh, the, that was literally, I think, the only time I went back. I've restrung my own guitar from like since. So. <laughs> it it's fucking it's mind boggling. Yeah, it is mind boggling to me that people think that they every issue that they have with their guitar, they have to take it to a guitar center, spend thirty five dollars. Yeah. To have a guy do something that you could do at home with with YouTube. Yeah, literally. I get it. I get what you mean. Don't worry. Yeah, I think like it would be weird if an old it'd be if you're more eight of an years old, old. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be restringing yeah, your own guitar. That's fair. Yeah. But also, I think it's more of an old fart job of like, well, if you actually, you should, you should go to Guitar Center because then you're helping the economy. <laughs> actually, did I you know that? I don't want to give Guitar Center any more money. No, yeah, we're never going back, I think. I think it's over. It's Joe. For that one up there. Yeah. That one sucks ass and it always has. Yeah. No, but, so let's go to the one in Kissimmee. The one in... Um, Hunter's Creek, technically. South I Orange, know, yeah. South, yeah. No, but that one's better, better. yes. <laughs> 
God damn it, I left that fucking two horse town <laughs> to never go back. <laughs> but yeah, so then we, we you start playing basses because you like the bass and you used to play the bass. Yeah. And you know, I, yeah, I played one bass and then put it back. I was like, Yeah, it and sounds we were like a bass. Pointing out all the green ones, and the same sweaty guy gets a fucking ladder ladder like a cartoon character and like walks over and is like i'm literally just pointing at all the green ones that's it that's literally dude, it a green he, green green he sighs so deeply and he goes which one like oh. he doesn't want to do the job like he doesn't want to do it and then i'm like no we're just looking he goes all right whatever and he walks away, walks away yeah. and i was like what <laughs> yeah we're going to sam mash next time we're going to fucking yeah we're going to <laughs> get out of here <laughs> yeah no, what it was fuck? yeah, and I will say like um, it was really annoying to like uh even on my end because mm-hmm. I did want to go see drums and they only have like three play drums available yeah. and they were all fucking taken up and by like, these fucking teenagers that were rude as shit. Yeah, being assholes and shit and just yeah. taking up space and they need to die. But like fucking and the guy was a fine drummer or whatever. It, yeah, they were fine. Whatever. <sighs> my thing is like I play with so many people on the guitar and I've heard so many fucking musicians in my life. That I mean, being good is fine. It, you go to Guitar Center to like perform and be good, trying to trying out all these different yeah guitars, and it's like I just listen to it. And I'm like, yeah, you're fine, but you're not, you know. Yeah, I get what you mean. You're not fantastic. Yeah, you know. So don't walk around like you got the biggest dick in the world because you know how to play the guitar, a very easy instrument, yeah. averagely. Yeah. It's like kind of, yeah, middle of like, yeah, it's pretty fucking easy. <laughs> Everyone does. Everyone can play. Yeah. Everyone plays the guitar averagely. Yeah. I do. I'm not better than them. I'm probably worse than them. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. And, you know, fuck. You know, and it's the same thing for drums. It's like the drums are hard, but it's also like if you start playing and you're just like, uh, it's just keeping time at some point. Their drums are not hard. <laughs> they're not hard? Okay, yeah, never mind. I, I thought people were going to be like, drums are really difficult. No, they're no. not hard, and it's easy to play them averagely. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you it fucking is. proved my fucking point. Sarah, you really just uh. need... Th- Most people will straight up only use three of the drums. <laughs> and it's the kick, the hi-hat, and the fucking... <laughs> and it's the, the snare. snare. Yeah, yeah. That's, it. that's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to fucking bullshit you. Tom's? I don't know who... Tom's? Who the fuck Who's that? that? My Leader space? of succession? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the winner. Yeah. Uh, I will say though, uh, I guess on another one of my pet peeves mm-hmm. from a non-guitar person. Yeah, I went there with two goals. I wanted to test out mics, mm-hmm. and I wanted to <laughs> see the mic stands. They have no <laughs> mic stands available to test. They had like they were all boxed up. There were some like in like a little like metal box like wire. But I think me- they were just they, they were not for test. They no. were for sale. Yeah, yeah. So you could at least like you could hold it. <laughs> That's it. That's all you could do. Yeah. And I wanted to test out the dynamics, mm-hmm. and they like have a a whole shelf just for sure specifically. And I'm like, yeah, yeah that's what I would probably want, or yeah. like an RE40. They don't have those because fuck me. And but dynamic real quick condensers will pick up pretty much everything in the room. And they're more sensitive than a dynamic microphone. Yeah. Um, but the dynamics would pick up every single sound. The music playing. That was playing. <laughs> and like, I could barely hear my own voice. And in that's the fucking, not good. That's not a good thing. It's, it's a really bad thing when the $20 condenser mic that's in a box in this room somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Sounds better mm-hmm. than the $400 sure <laughs> SM7B in gu- in the guitar center for demoing. Man. Not only that too, the condensers behind mm-hmm. the uh those specific the sure thing yeah. uh were better than all the dynamics. Like I couldn't hear the music through the fucking condensers. That's what I'm fucking saying. That so was they must crazy. have had them fucking mic'd up weird or something was going on with yeah. like the high end being really high. Yeah, and I'm like if dynamics. you're trying to sh- like sell specifically sure microphones, you're not going to do it. No, like no. because no everyone's going to listen to the dynamics the and be fucking- like what the f- Fuck? Yeah, which I'm wondering about all those microphones for sure sound fine if you know what the fuck you're doing. Exactly. Like I'm like there's no way there's like a cloud lifter or anything or whatever amp they're using. No, it's probably just, sucks. it sucks ass. And that was the other thing was all of the amps were not plugged in. Most yeah. of the amps did not have cords. You have to go and ask for them to go and get a cord, which was picking up a cord on in a package, opening the package and then giving you a guitar cord. Pretty much, yeah. Off of the sales floor and like Guitar Center. <laughs> they hear you. They're like, what they the fuck right are you now, saying, yeah. you stupid bitch? Yeah, you fucker. <laughs> um, fuck it. So that was the thing. All of the cheap amps, the small practice amps, which I wanted practice. 
Yeah. I wanted a small combo in, but I told the guy that, and he was like, oh, I don't know. Let's we walk to the middle one. of the store real quick. Yeah, he walked around. I was like, I might have some over here. And he walked to the middle of the store. I was like, oh, I guess they're gone. And then he was like, okay. Just right, let's go back. Go <laughs> back. Just use one of the bigger ones. It'll be the same. <laughs> yeah, it'll like, be the same. Okay. I mean, I understand kind of what you're talking about, but like, I don't know. And also the quizzing. He I, Every time I go and I'm like, I try to play the guitar. A fucking dude's got to quiz me. They yeah. got to quiz me. He goes like, oh, I just want a small combo. And he goes, what does small mean? Meaning like, what wattage amp do you need? And I was like, fuck, man, I got to remember what was on the yeah. website. Remember the pop <laughs> quiz hot shot real quick. What do you think? Because I could say 50 watt and then you would give me like a $300 amp that I don't want to buy because I don't have $300. I really mean like a 10, a 10 watt is like tiny and too tiny. It's like this big. Yeah. And a uh, fucking, so I'm like, I guess a 20 watt or a 30 watt. And he's like, okay, well, we don't have them. So great. Awesome. I just did a bunch of math in my head for no fucking reason. <laughs> uh, also did not go over any of the guitar specs with me. Yeah, honestly. It's like, yeah, whatever. Here it is. Yeah. Just play it. You know. The guitar tell- is actually about the feeling you have. It's like it's like jazz. <laughs> how you, it's, the, it's about the guitars you don't play. And uh, not gonna lie, that is kind of how I feel going to Guitar Center and picking up a guitar and playing it. I'm testing the humbuckers or yeah. the pickups. I'm testing that, and I'm testing like if the knobs all work. Yeah, and honestly, that's <laughs> really yeah. That's what I'm doing, and like I don't know. I get. I that's get what literally you mean. it. If it's heavy. Yeah, like if you're actually gonna be comfortable playing it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all I'm testing it for. Everything else, it's like you like the color. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's, yeah. that's pretty much it. At this point, I'm buying a guitar for pickups. Oh, can we talk about how smudged every single piece of thing oh, yeah. we touched was? It was disgusting. It was bad. Nothing it was, was really fucking bad. wiped out. It was all just like greasy hands yeah, on just, everything yeah, just putting your little that fingerprint that place was fucking disgusting it was really bad actually yeah i was in the used gear section oh the years was, was oh yeah the used <laughs> oh was God. fucked yeah everything was so fucking dusty all of the amps that were not plugged in yeah nothing was plugged in and that's where we saw the cockroach and then we were like yeah and then we saw a cockroach and i was like let's just get out of here the I only think. place that i even found a little bit of solace was the acoustic room but yeah, it was nice. But it was AC also was hot up. as fuck. Yeah, the AC wasn't working. Like, we walked in and we were immediately sweating. Yeah. God. I really... There was another thing also. The SM57. Yeah. Um, I used to have that because a while back on forums, everyone was... And I'm a, we're nerds, okay? We're sound nerds. Like, this is something you gotta know about us if you don't know about us yet. Yeah, that's why our audio quality is fucking epic. <laughs> And I'm going to purposely lower it so you can't hear what I said. <laughs> Negative 42 decibels, yeah. <laughs> noise floor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're audio nerds. Yeah. yeah, we're audio nerds, real bad. And um, the SM57 used to be on forums for being the best instrument. Like um, recording. Recording microphone. Yeah. We have one around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't use it anymore because it has the same problem that was on the SM57 at the Guitar Center. Which is a very specific buzzing that it does when it has water damage. Yeah. So the one that they had on display had the same fucking problem. Yeah. That mine has. God. That's that's fucking wild, man. Why would you do that? I don't fucking know. It makes no- nothing that we listened to or played was worth buying. No. Yeah. Literally nothing. Not I, because I didn't have a chance bad to go. Equipment. Yeah, but just because of the vibe of the place. And the setup was wrong. Yeah. Whoever is setting it up doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. I yeah, honestly, I really cannot fucking fathom like <sighs> why or how fucking Why would you go to a guitar? Like what was yeah. the what is the point? This is just the one that we've sent into, and I'm on yeah, like uh, next time if we ever go to a guitar center location, it's definitely gonna be Hunter's Creek. And if that one doesn't work, there's no Sam Ash, I guess. I guess we're going to Sam Ash. But then, of course, they got a limited selection. Yeah, and it's like, fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it just sucks. It sucks that, like, when you... Because I guess audio is still such a fucking niche of, like, you know, like, like, equipment buying. Why? It's so important. But it's so goddamn important. (laughs) And there's only so, like, you can't just go on Sweetwater and hope for the best sometimes, you know? That's what I'm saying. It's I'm so not used to that. And I want to walk into a store and look at a thing and be like, wow, I'm blown away by that. And no one does that anymore. Yeah. And, you know, like, there's only so many, like, and I'm feeling this right now because I'm looking at computers finally. Mm -hmm. And I've I've 
resigned to the idea that like I'm not gonna build a fucking computer because I'm not gonna be able to get financing on any fucking part. So I have to either do custom build or pre-built. And like I'm just watching YouTube video after YouTube video. Exactly. Of like, all right, I need to I need what's the okay, you're testing this with Blender, but can you test it with Premiere real quick? Dude, uh, can actually, you uh, actually No, that's the st- when I was trying to figure out what type of a guitar I wanted because Oh yeah. I was watching all of these different things and I wanted a two humbucker setup, which is really popular with metal. Yes. So I was looking at these like cheaper metal guitars because I wanted a Floyd Rose and I wanted a coil switching um thing and yeah. i wanted two humbuckers and that's all i wanted because i like uh, a hard rock sound and i like a warm gain sound yeah and what i got was a lot of guitars being sent through like 15, 15 metal zones <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right guys we're <laughs> gonna test this guitar and today the first thing we're gonna do is plug it into a thing that makes it sound different <laughs> Yeah, that was literally it. Everything was through distortion. Nothing was clean toned. That's uh, why I'm really happy I only care about microphones because I watch there's this one guy I think is a, a podcast it just is a uh, like candle. Oh. And like he just does mics mm-hmm. and he gives you he's like he's like so fucking on it with like, all right, I I, I put it at the four o'clock position. Someone's knocking because they don't like what I'm saying. But I think there's a guy out there. I know. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. Bro, we're trying to record a podcast, dog. Broski. I just slowly <laughs> open the window. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not even that late. It's like noon. Yeah, it's it's like three. Six. Maybe there's like a maintenance order on like an AC next to us. Oh, maybe. I don't know. God damn it. Uh, But yeah, no, fucking, um, yeah, like he gives so much detail and he doesn't do any processing other than bumping up mic levels. Fucking awesome. And he tells you that. Holy shit. And, I was wa- and when you showed me the metal guitars, I was like, this is yeah. fucking stupid. This, this is, is, so is the dumbest dumb. thing I've ever seen. And sometimes they don't even tell you what they put it through. Sometimes it just starts out and she's like, this is what it sounds like with distortion. And I'm like, That's great if you what? want a distortion sound, I guess. What type of distortion? Yeah. <laughs> You're not telling me anything. The distortion on your amp, the distortion on a pedal, what pedal is it? What fucking actually what it's, it's, stage is it in your pedal chain? Actually, this is really cool. It's distortion when you poke a bunch of holes in your amp. Oh and, yeah, oh my god, yeah, that guy. Because you're a guitar legend, yeah. Oh. Uh, no, but fucking um Yeah, no, it's really It drives me fucking insane. Yeah. And I hate doing it. And that's why I don't buy guitars. I used to buy guitars. Off of this like Facebook group, Firefly Guitars. Yeah, and they were they're fine. They make like Chinese knockoffs. It's actually a factory in China that makes pretty decent knockoffs of like Fender and uh, yeah, like, like famous guitar types. They do some Gibson too, I think. Yeah, that's what um, I was thinking. Yeah, and um, fucking, I got them, and it's, it's fine. But it comes, it's a guitar out of a box that you have to change all of the shit on it, and then also you have to like there are some defects now. I think it's becoming more and more common that Damn, there are some defects on that them. That sucks. Which sucks because they used to be so awesome. Yeah, and like when we were there, like when you were playing the car- guitar, I think we both had the thought of like the fucking fireflies the we used to have thing. was like better than this. Yeah, you know? it's just the same shit. Well, it's all set up at some point. You know yeah, what I mean? That's fair. So now I'm like, okay, I don't want it to have a defect out of the factory, so I want to actually go and buy it. And I, either way, I'm going to have to take it home, change the action. Change the strings. Yeah, so do it's all like, this work. But you, now you paid six hundred dollars, seven hundred and fifty dollars, yeah. rather than two hundred dollars on a guitar. Yeah, so it's like fuck it. I don't know, man. It's it's fucked. <laughs> anyway, yeah, fuck guitar center. Fuck guitar center. It's and like already I'm doing. I'm willing to do all of this shit, right? Yeah. Like, Why also make my experience a bad experience? Yeah, exactly. In your store. Yeah. So that's where we. That's why we had to take a week off. It's <laughs> because Guitar Center. We did, and then that was supposed to be like a fun, relaxing activity. Thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, we took a week off just for like you know whatever reason. Yeah. Who cares? But like fucking yeah, that was supposed to be the, like the thing we did, and like because you know I don't have to worry about TikToks. I don't have to worry about fucking. Yeah. I still had to. I still had to post. Yeah. But like, you know, like not having to worry about like clips or anything. Yeah. Like hey, we're gonna go out this week. True, and then it was terrible, and, and we then, saw a roach. And we saw a roach, and that was enough. That was the, the straw. God. But yeah, that's all, that's how our week off was, everybody. Yeah. Um, tell me all the political stuff, Josh. Oh yeah, I want to take a serious uh, moment. Yeah, not really that serious. Mm-hmm. I think there's still a way to be funny and do this. Okay. But I've been, I've been, uh, I, I, 
during the past two weeks, especially a week ago, I was mm-hmm. having a lot of thoughts about like, so I've we've mentioned like a little bit in passing, like the writer strike and everything. Mm-hmm. And God damn it, this guy behind me is really fucking. <laughs> he's really messing with you. A little bit, but he's no, walked but, away. He's walked away. Yeah. Good. I just have a big hole in the apartment now because of yeah, <laughs> this guy just knocked through our apartment uh, window and stole my yeah. computer. Sorry, yeah. no, but um, I don't know. I've been having a little bit of thoughts about like uh, only because it's now starting to affect me. Mm. And I, I guess I want to have a little conversation about the wider, like, kind of creative space, especially when it comes to, like, digital content. Because, mm. like, okay, the writer strike started, like, a month ago. We haven't yeah. really talked about it. We touched on it a little bit. We support the writer strike. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And, like, their main problems are, like, you know, like, studios aren't paying out well anymore. AI's coming in and the studios want to use AI because they don't have to pay a person and that's cheaper. I'm so fucking anti-AI. Yeah, honestly. On a moral level, on just a human organic level, I hate yeah. the robots and I will fight them in the revolution. I'm a little more... I'm skeptical of ai i think there's only very few uh like cases like i use ai i can't think of one i i use ai literally every week with this podcast what where you do the when i do the auto transcribe and when i use like auto reframe but those are very specific like a to b functions yeah i tried it uh, on tiktok there's a i'm gonna call it a fucking scam there's a a scam like ai tool going around Mm -hmm. called multi or autopod oh yeah that automatically edits your multi it's a scam i'm gonna call it there's a lot of people like showing it off and it's like whoa look how quick it does it you know and part of me is like are you all getting fucking paid off by this because like you might just be very quick you know it might just be like quicker than the ai well, I'm. I don't even think that's it because it it can't be. I might. Oh, well, because uh, I don't. Okay. Uh, we can. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to this because yeah. like I do have thoughts about it and I really want to like fucking shit on this product. Mm-hmm. But like, okay, so like, Rush Strike's been going on and like, uh, you know, it's slowly starting to affect more and more. I think a lot of stuff that's going on in like the entertainment space there. Mm-hmm. Um, last week on TikTok for like a week long. Mm-hmm. I had no access, and a lot of other people had no access mm-hmm. to analytics for the start of the month, pretty much. That's connected to the writer strike? Well, it's not connected to it in like a, there's not a direct connection. I want to talk about like the greater. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand what you mean. So this was, this is what affected me first. Yeah. Was that the, a big company mm. was unusable. Yeah. In one very important aspect for a week. Yeah, and then they fixed it, and it was still lagging behind. And then they fixed it again. Jesus, and that was annoying. And that was like a whole week where I was like, I have no idea what the fuck's going on for TikTok. And it was like if your job, if you go to your job, and they're like, Yeah, we don't know how much we're gonna pay you this week. Yeah, or see, and it's not <laughs> even like that too. It's it's, like, yeah, we don't know how it's good you like are. Like if you like if you're like a cashier and you don't get to see like because you know that you got paid, mm-hmm. and the company knows that like a bunch of it's like if you work as a cashier and the card shit's like not working, yeah, and you have to pay cash, mm-hmm. and you also have to do all the taxes. And also, you have to like yeah. you have to do you have to you have be, to do all that shit yourself. If you and then like you have to do that for a week, like you know, mm-hmm. like God. But yeah, like it's literally so it wasn't working, and it finally started working. But it was an annoying thing, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Twitch comes out. Another thing that would affect me theoretically if I streamed, <laughs> right? But it's a uh, it's um uh, basically Twitch came out and said, uh, hey, if you're doing sponsored streams, we have a bunch of new rules for them. Yeah, and you saw this too, mm-hmm. and they've already backtracked on this. Good, like they've already stupid. they've already reverted on this, but for like a day, like a, like a whole day, people were like, it was basically like you couldn't have baked in ads. Yeah, so you couldn't like if you had a sponsorship deal, yeah. you could only take up three percent of the screen <laughs> with like not- a logo. You can't no overlays where it's like uh, no lower thirds, no overlays, no baked in ads. Like literally, like the only things you could do were you can showcase the product. Yeah. Out Which, of focus. <laughs> and I've heard from someone trying to give Twitch the benefit of the doubt. I don't know who it was because I fucking forgot because I no, take in information of- constantly on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, but fucking they said that it was to crack down on gambling. And listen. Yeah. I great idea to crack down on gambling. And just very wide reaching. Ex- horrible execution. Yeah. How about you just say no fucking gambling, dog? Yeah. You know, like why I don't think you there do was, that? There was also um uh they also included included like stipulations on like like political content too. Like okay. 
Yeah, and I, like there was a lot of like different like they said so for some reason they roped in gambling with like political content and okay. like other shit. Yeah, it was weird. That is, weird. it was fucking weird. Yeah, and they reverted on it, right? But I think this is it's fascinating to me watching all of this. And I think the writer strike is the thing that like kicked off like me thinking about this more and more. Mm-hmm. Is like how it's. I'm not even gonna say difficult to be like a content creator because it really isn't. Like we're doing this right now. It's very simple. Yeah, it's pretty easy. But like I was thinking like. Jesus Christ, with how you and I do this podcast specifically, yeah, we work with like 10 plus companies technically. Yeah. Where like we post on three, like a bunch of different platforms. Mm-hmm. We host a podcast somewhere else and we have to go to YouTube. Right. And who's to say the analytics are done by that company or they're done yeah, by a third like, party. Or and something. also when we, we we're, this is also during a week where we we're switching podcast hosts. Yes, we did do and that. Then also, like for the first few weeks, it was a difficult to get like analytics for like the first three days because everything was switching over. Yeah, and I was just like, "Man, this is fucking annoying." <laughs> yeah, because now it's not even like like it's not even like, and I guess that's why I kind of connect those three things is mm-hmm. that this is more like a systemic, wider problem of like these companies making really bad decisions, stealing money, basically. <laughs> yeah. And not being functional. And I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to give a shit. Yeah, I know. I get it. Because people legitimately think that unless you are W-2 employee, you know, signed on with health benefits 40 plus hours a week, where you go into a building and get shat on by some fucking higher up, that your work that you do is not valid. People legitimately no, think yeah. that. And, that's, and they that's... think anything that you do, writer, writing for a movie. <laughs> a notoriously yeah. difficult job to get. Yeah. Acting. Also notoriously directing difficult. Anything. And that's anything that's too. not going into a corporate building and doing like numbers, I don't know, they think is not valid. Yeah. And you deserve to have less rights. Yeah, and I think that's the really like crazy fucking like yeah the I, I not, I'm not even gonna say scam, but like the the grift of like creative work the, of, uh, the grift that people creative companies or companies digital companies uh, distribution companies shit like that. I I think you show. could go bigger and just say like any cre- like any creative company. Yeah. I'm taking fucking a ceramics class right now. My professor, he's a professor at a community college. He also has to work at a clay company. Yeah. Where he does back breaking work, like fucking putting clay together and then taking apart clay and then reworking it and like it uses a forklift. He does yeah. manual fucking labor. And also he makes like clay pots and pans to sell directly to people, yeah. And like um restaurants. Not even oh, individuals. Really? Shit. He so supplies, business to business, yeah. Yeah, it's a business to business and he still can't make his rent. Yeah. Isn't that fucking That's crazy? Wild. Yeah. And like, I don't know. And like, I guess I've been thinking about this more about like the value of like work in general. And yeah. like, and I don't know, like I, and I've, I've been seeing a lot, like the first time I started looking up the writer strike mm-hmm. specifically, yeah. the first videos on YouTube straight up was this fucking dumbass podcast between oh good it was it was a so we're already we're off to a bad start everybody yeah, awesome, we're already cool, fun we're, we're already fucked yeah but like there was a this, this fucking podcast that was just talking about like making the worst opinions of like writers are doing this at the worst time actually because all the rates are going down new york fucking, times opinion no this was uh, if only this uh, god it, it should have been on new york times it was and like this it was, is why the writer strike is bad for joe biden <laughs> Right. No, I don't know. I, I I guess like it's really shitty that like you know everyone lumps in writers with the actual enemy, which is like the people that own like yeah. fucking you know Waystar Royco. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like you know everyone thinks fucking uh, a writer like Brett Gold, like the people that like write fucking like Ted Lasso. Yeah. Are you know the the Roy family? You know. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's true. That's not it at all. No, they're like it's it's fucking wild to me. When at the end of the day, like writers and like us, like I still see us as like when we do this podcast, part of like the service industry. Because our service is entertainment. That the you know where we like. You really don't think we're making a product? No, I think we're making a product. I think. Well, what would be the service then? I guess, I guess the entertainment itself is the service. We do make a product, and that product is the podcast and I, the video. I think we're we're making product. 
That's okay. what we're. That's what I think, and that's why I operate as a business. You know, like, and I think that's also why when we're in business meetings, people are like, "What's the ROI?" You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's really like it's annoying as fuck. But like, I don't know. I think like I mean, it's you know, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get my thoughts together because there's a lot of fucking like little mm-hmm. strand. I think like. I don't know. It's definitely a privilege, yeah, to be here in this seat right now and like doing this is like a is like our main source of income. Absolutely, yeah. But it's very it, there is a degrading quality when no one and we've talked about this before when like people that we don't we know yeah. don't respect it. No, absolutely. And then it's it, that's it's one hard thing. to get people to respect. It's a hard to get podcast. Yeah, and then it's harder to get companies that you host your platform on. Yeah. To respect it enough to like let you earn money to let you like know what's going on with your product, your podcast. It's very much like and it's just like I'm annoyed at the fact that Yeah. It, at the end of the day cuz like you know and this is this all ropes back to capitalism, right? Where it's mm-hmm. like every single company is like just out to like make as much money as possible. Yeah. Uh like very much like I would be okay with that if you just made a working product <laughs> that works. Yeah. That also, you know, doesn't lead to like coups, you know, and like doesn't <laughs> fucking, you know, yeah, doesn't lead to genocide, you know. That's mostly to Facebook, but like, <laughs> but like, you know, like I don't know. It's very, it's I don't yeah. know. It's it's very much a double edged sword. I think being here, you know, where it's like this is definitely better than me going to my regular job, yeah, and like setting up tables, taking down chairs, shit like that. No, but yeah, it's literally like this is the only thing I want to do. Yeah, and this is the only thing I want to do, and that's a personal affliction. Like I yeah. gotta be honest. The only thing I want to do is podcast, and that's because I'm sick in the fucking head, dude. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, I wish I would be able to love working customer service. I wish I would loved it. Yeah, because that's a lot more secure. Yeah, you know, it, it's medical benefits that actually suck more than actually just paying out of pocket for your medical benefits, whatever. <laughs> um, but you know, fucking doing that shit, fucking you know, a ladder up the corporate structure. There's a there's a structure for you to climb. Um, and a fucking retirement thing and whatever, and you could retire or whatever, but I choose not to do it because yeah. we love doing this. I love doing this. Yeah. And it's, I don't and know. I, I hate that other thing. Yeah. I hate that but other then thing. then it's like, you know, I feel like companies see that like, oh, you want to be like, oh, you want to be a Twitch streamer. All right. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. fine. But we're going to make it super in- unstable for you. Yes. And also the only way you can make money for a day is going to be you have to you can only do subs and bits and fucking yeah and before you, sponsor, you had to suck the dick of Burger King but now you can't suck the, yeah, dick, of can't suck the dick of Burger King now you gotta suck the dick of now Twitch now you gotta put a tiny burger in the, in the top right corner <laughs> yeah. and it's like you fuck know? man <laughs> shit everyone's out to get their dick sucked you know what I mean that's really what it, everyone's out to get their ass kissed yeah as soon as, you, as someone hears that you're a, um that you're a delusional hey. artist that they come over and they want to scam you basically yeah basically and uh it sucks and then you gotta become more cynical of a human being yeah you know and it very to deal with that and it's hard you know it's fucking like um i don't know and like i don't know and i think that's i guess my main point Mm -hmm. is i hate living in a society that undervalues like the work the working class of like creatives and you can like and i think like the thing about the writer strike that people I think do understand because I know there's a, mm-hmm. a majority of people want unions, right? Yes. And the Writers Guild is a fucking union. Yeah. And I think it's like we need more unions. Like I, th- you can expand this out to like you know if you if you work at fucking Burger King or McDonald's, you should be able to unionize. Starbucks workers should be able to fucking unionize. Yeah, and Starbucks is the worst at fucking like you know anti union shit. No, that's yeah. If you're an Amazon employee, unionize. If you're fucking a teacher, like if you're like yeah, you know, you should be, be able to like you. Everyone that isn't in a fucking suit. And at the top, at the 99th floor. I even think floor, people in suits, because I've I think heard... people, no, I mean, I'm talking about people specifically, 99th floor executives. Right. This is who I'm talking about. If CEOs. You, uh, You're yeah, talking CEOs. about CEOs. Yeah, CEOs. But I think all, everyone deserves More. working rights. Yes. That's what you deserve. And I, I think when people say, like, when they hear creative and say, like, I deserve more rights, or I deserve more pay, or I deserve this or that, 
And they go, why are you being cre- why why be grateful or, be yeah. grateful for what you have because otherwise you'd be on the street or something. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to be? Do you want me to be a plumber? Because I promise you, when mm-hmm. I become a plumber and come into your house and plumb your fucking shitty toilet, you're going to treat me like crap. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, because you treat everyone who works for you like crap. Yeah. Because you think that being successful is one thing. Yeah. And that's the only time that you deserve respect. And that person is you. You are the only person person that deserves deserves respect. respect. And everyone else should wash your balls, basically. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking. I don't know. Yeah. Like, shit. It's so dumb. Just be what the fuck you want to be, because otherwise you're going to fucking kill yourself. And that's bad. It's actually bad 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 to kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Go out and do what you want to fucking do. Yes. And demand better rights yeah demand better conditions for yes. yourself you just no one like you like you know everyone's like 15 dollars fucking an hour minimum yeah fucking you better be fighting for that you know yes fucking you should if you're a tipped employee you shouldn't be working for fucking tips you no, should be getting you should fucking, have a minimum also. you should have a minimum that isn't like three dollars an hour you drive for uber eats you should be getting paid like 10 bucks a delivery honestly and you know what i've been seeing too because for some reason i keep getting on the doordash uh, subreddit and the Instacart subreddit is um fucking <laughs> apparently people on Instacart they will have their tip there and Instacart will show you the tip amount. Oh yeah. Let's say like you ordered four hundred dollars worth of groceries, they're gonna tip eighty dollars. And yeah. it's on there. And then they drop off the delivery and the person is able to take the tip away. Oh my god. So it happens constantly. It's called That's- tip baiting. Yeah, and that's like another thing that like uh, I don't like about uh, uh, you shouldn't be able to fucking do that, a eh? yeah. But like it's very it really sucks because like every company like DoorDash does this, Uber does this because I've mm-hmm. driven for both. Yeah, they'll show you the tip. Yeah, they'll show you the tip beforehand because people preemptively tip, mm-hmm. and like it literally changes it from like two dollars a delivery to like six eight dollars a delivery. Yeah, and if you take away your six dollar tip. Someone just did 30 minutes of work that you could have done going out and getting food yourself. Yeah. And that you paid more for, too, anyway. Yeah. They only earned $2 for 30 minutes of work. Which is fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you're a tipped employee, I think technically, and I could be wrong on this, Mm. technically, if you don't make up your tips, Mm -hmm. you're legally allowed to ask to get whatever your minimum is in the state. Oh, really? Wow. So it'll, you can like technically, so technically you are working like, you know, uh, like, for ten dollars an hour, like I think it is in Florida right now, something no, like it that. It should be fifteen. I thought it's it's working its way up to fifteen. That was years ago, though. I don't know what year it is. It's was, supposed to go up every September. It might be like thirteen bucks right now. Like, let me look. I think I don't know this. I could be wrong on this, so please be willing to tell me if I'm wrong. It's Scone Day. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Scone Day, everybody. But like I think you, I I want to say you're technically eligible. If it's not, even if it's like, but it's still also not enough money. Like it still isn't. Like I think you should be able to get a minimum wage and also earn tips. I think it's twelve right now. It's twelve right now, really? And then it's going up because we got three years. September thirtieth, twenty twenty six is when it will be fifteen. Oh wow, that yeah. is not gonna be worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, but like, I, it's really like, I don't know. I guess it's just disheartening. And I think I think the Twitch thing was the thing that really broke the camel's back for me of mm-hmm. like, I I guess I need to get my thoughts out there yeah. and talk about this. Because I don't know, everyone fucking listening to this deserves more rights. Every, yeah. every single human, I think even executives. Even exa- yeah. I work with executives and like, quote unquote, and it really depends on your corporate structure. Like um, the company that I work for right now, it's easy as shit to become an executive. You could work there for six months and you're an executive. Yeah, quote unquote. Yeah. And you still probably, what you're asked to do is work very long hours because your salary, work um, on the weekends, have a phone on you yeah. where you can be contacted at any point in time. Literally on call. Yeah. You're just, and yeah. It, that's terrible. You no, shouldn't have yeah. that. You should have time for your fucking family, just like us lower paid, uh, lower paid workers now have because the company wants to seem good. You know, yeah, like, to the fucking workers that are doing the worst work. Yeah. You might not be doing as bad work, but you might be working longer for less pay, technically. Yeah. And it's like, <sighs> Jesus, you know, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. So I guess it's just frustrating. Yeah. That, like, 
the money for people in the creative industry being taken away slowly but surely and it's just being drained and it's you know and it's you know it's trickled down economics it's all started in the fucking 80s it's like fucking you know no yeah it's it's, it's when there is less money available in the workforce who's the first person we're going to take it from creatives or, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah like people yeah. that aren't actually like paid a, an exact amount of money yeah like, I don't know, I was watching a Vox video about, like, what writers are, like, writers now need, like, two or three jobs a year, because yeah. writers' rooms are now, like, eight weeks long, as opposed to 20 weeks long. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Like... That is pretty wild, actually, yeah, yeah fuck. So, I don't know, I don't it know. really, it sucks. And now there's also no path to, like, increasing, and, in, in, like, writers specifically, because now you can't go on set, or like, mm -hmm. it's less likely you get on set, and it's less likely you become, like, a showrunner later on, you know what I mean? If that's yeah. what you want to do. And I think, I mean, I think, honestly, I think the the problem is, and this is really obvious, it's the companies that are hoarding money. Yeah, no, that's that's the real thing. Yeah, but I think they're doing that because COVID really showed them that if you don't have uh, money set aside for a fucking pandemic, your company's going to go under. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everybody's going to be like, why don't you think about Walmart? And it's like, well, why was Walmart mismanaged this that's hard? The thing, that's another crazy thing, too. I was, I was watching a video about, like, so why, there's a every company is now making a really big push to like have everyone come back to home yeah uh, not home uh, um, fucking uh, the office yeah right and the reason why there's a bunch of different reasons one is management it doesn't it, you know you gotta micromanage yeah you do you know i want to micromanage because they've realized that their job is nothing which is a funny because like when i was working from home i felt like i was more micromanaged than i am in an office right i think it also you just had two shitty companies back to back or they're yeah. like trying to do what they can well i mean i also interviewed for a lot of other work from home customer service jobs and they were all very micromanaging i think it's just yeah. they know you're in your house and you're gonna jerk off and play with your cat and yeah go to sleep <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they don't want you to do that yeah they want you work 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 yeah but yeah so that's one of the reasons another reason is because of all the rental leases Apparently, companies pay like two hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars per square foot of like office space for like the yeah. real and like fucking like yo, this economic system is gonna fucking collapse. Soon. Absolutely, like, it, yeah. it's 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 gonna happen because like banks have like money tied up in rental properties and like you have to own a portion of like your it's fucking wild. So basically, <laughs> banks found out that their jobs could be fucking gone as well. Like, so then they were like, "Fuck you, fuck, you gotta come back to the office yeah. now." And like fucking um. They also, this is like the real reason, mm. they want people to quit because they can't afford to have yes. labor. Yeah. But if a company publicly says we're laying off a bunch of people, it looks bad for stocks, it looks bad for shareholders, yeah. shareholders pull and out, they, they lose money. they have to pay out severance too. Yeah, exactly. So then we can just say, oh, you got to come back home. And if you're not home, come back to the office. But if you, you know, like if that happens, uh, no, that, you can just quit. And I've been doing that song and dance with every company I've been working for since 2020. Yeah. Um, But fucking somebody said on Twitter, I forgot who it was. It went viral, but they were talking with their HR person and their HR was like, oh, you need to come back into the office. And they were like, I was hired remotely. You know, yeah, I I will live like an uh three hours away. And they're like, yeah, but we said we asked if you had uh adequate transportation at the time that we hired you because that's what we ask everyone. And they go, I was hired to be a remote worker. <laughs> yeah, and then what? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now they're yeah. Now they have to quit. God. Yeah, absolutely. That's what's happening. God. Um, everyone's out to get you. Everyone's out to get you. Everyone wants you to kiss their ass. And they want all your money. And that's yeah. actually how I've been feeling. Just at any point in time, spending money or like getting bills in the mail, I've just started feeling like nobody gives a shit about me. Everyone just, just want wants my, money. my fucking yeah. money. God damn it. I feel that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Paying every like electric bill and the electric bills going up. Fucking, you know, everything's everything. going up. Everything's going up. Everyone wants my fucking money. My fucking internet bills. Crazy. Yeah. Fucked up. I don't know, and I guess like I don't know. I guess the way I wanted to, I wanted to talk about it. I guess is like it's no, I just get it. it's, it's to lower my electric bill. <laughs> that was it, everybody. I just want to lower my electric bill. Got fucking bill. pranked. You thought I was a person of the people? No, I'm not. I'm fucking. I'm a rich, snotty fucking podcaster. Ooh, ooh we're not you should rich. Hate me. We're <laughs> not rich. Someday we will be, but not today. About? What are you talking? About? <laughs> we just have a fucking open. I'm still gonna use this, even though there's a bunch of hair on it. I don't give a shit. I don't want to waste money on another roll. <laughs> God, we, have more. we do. Shh, don't tell them that they're gonna think we're rich. 
and then they won't go to our patreon.com forward slash APWSTR to, uh, you know, when TikTok decides not to show us our payment. Uh, God. But yeah, I just want to talk about that. So, uh, uh, you can all th- welcome back to Star Kits. Uh, thank you all for skipping the, my portion of the podcast. I appreciate it. Uh, Sarah, where are we at? Did we do chapter 22 lesbians? I don't remember. I'm going to read this one. All right. So the last chapter, Star Kits, Star Kid was reborn as a kitten. Yeah. And her parents died. Yeah. So now they were like, who's going to be your parents? And it's the lesbians. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Chapter 22 lesbians, one, 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 one. Oh my god. <laughs> Starkid didn't know why he was so upset, but she knew that it was not a good thing for there to be a lesbian. Oh yeah, that was one of the commandments, yeah. Yeah. What's wrong, Stargleam? Asked Redpaw as she kissed Lakepaw on the lips. Lesbians. You're just a kid, why do you not like that? Ides. Because being <laughs> lesbian is wrong, Starkit yelled. It's against the Bible Ten Commandant. <laughs> How would you know about the Ten Commandments? Asked Lake Paw. Y- you weren't here for that. I know, said Starkit, thinking, but I somehow know about it. Lake Paw uh, shrugged. This is so fucking confusing. I'm sorry. This is just like the, the death and reborn and everything. It's just. Yeah, because she's Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. And like, God damn it. We have to do this. It's Pride Month, Josh. I know it's Pride. Yeah, it's Pride Month. So we got to, you know, we got to shit talk lesbians. Fuck so it. Yeah, 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 we got to shit talk lesbians because Target is ca- making the children trans or something. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Lake Paul shrugged. She didn't know how to respond. Well, the Ten Commandments aren't real, she said, so me and Red Fur think it's okay. Come back to the nursery with us, said Red Fur. You're too young to be out of the nursery for long. No! Yelled Starpaw. She refused to let herself be exposed to the lesbians. (laughs) She ran out into the forest. Ash Kit followed her? I think Ash Kit. What's wrong, Star Star? She asked. Why are you upset? I'm being raised by plebeians. (laughs) <laughs> lesbians. I'm being lesbians. raised by lesbians. lesbians. <laughs> Starkit yelled back, What do you think is wrong? Well, come over here, said Ashfit. Maybe we can make them see the light. Giggle said, So she said, Giggle out loud, but okay, said Starkit, but she went over to Ashkit. And then a cat was coming through the trees. It was Jazz Song. Jazz Paul, what are you doing here? asked Starkit. It's Jazz Star. Didn't you hear I got made leader after Stargleam died? It was a sad death. Who is Stargleam? asked Stargleam. She knew the name sounded f- family, but she didn't know what it was. It doesn't matter, said Jazz Song. Let's go back to the camp. Yay, said Ashfur happily. They went back to the camp. Now, now so go see Red Paw and Lake Paw, said Jazz Star. I know they're waiting for you. Fine, fine, said Starkit, but I'm not going to like it. Six moons later. Six months later. Oh my god. <laughs> Starkit, from this day forward, you will now be known as Starpaw, said Jazz Song. The, the clan cheered happily. Alright. I really... Uh, what? What's, uh, why? No, we're Your doing... minote will be, I think, Mentor, maybe? Yeah, probably Mentor. The Jazz Song. No! Yelled Stargleam. Nah, no, not okay. Number chapter twenty five. Ask <laughs> that's the, it. Yeah. What the fuck is going? God, this makes no fucking sense. Well, I we're really... halfway done, so good. But chapter like, twenty five. Right. The ask question. No, not Hawk Frost. Thought Star Gleam. She didn't know why, but she didn't want him to be her mentor. Hi, Gleam Kid said Hawk Frost, walking over there. He, <laughs> whoa, uh, he wrapped his tail around her shoulders. It was not spelled wrapped. It was spelled raped. <laughs> it was not spelled. That's a, that's a, who Want to train with me tomorrow? Okay, said Starpaw. She went to Ashkit. Hi, she said. Hi, he said. Hi, she replied. Do you want to go hunting with me, Desuka? He said, okay, she said. I walked out of the forest with ash fur. We went into the forest to hunt. He kept looking at Stargleam. She wondered why. Then he said, Starpa, I wanted to know if you would be my mate. He said, oh gosh, yes, yeah, said Starpa, because she didn't remember who he was. <laughs> then she remembered she would have said yes. 
if she remembered, she would have said yes. And then from the bushes came Hack Frost. What are you innocent fools doing? Whoa. Damn. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Said Hack Hawk Frost. She's my mate now, said Ashpaw. No way, said Hawk Frost. I want her to be my mate. And then the... And then they fought. There was lots of blood. Starling cried. It was so scary. Stow, she said, but even she couldn't make them listen. Well, then suddenly, they were kissing. What? <laughs> no. What's going on? I don't... What are you doing, said Gleam Star Kid? They were being gay, and she <laughs> ran into the forest. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Happy Pride Month. Jesus Jesus doesn't like people who flamel. So true. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's so... It? That's it? Oh, great. Okay, good. Fucking, I have no words. I don't give a shit. I don't care enough about this to have a thought on it, if I'm being real. Yeah? I just, I, I wow. Just, just dog shit. Every week, every week we do this. It's just dog shit, man. We do, yeah. Man. You know? And it's like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. You know? It's like, <sighs> let me see how many more. How many more? Oh, shit, a lot. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six weeks. Six more weeks. Six more weeks of this. Of just uh, having my brain slowly rot. <laughs> And de wrinkle at the smoothed it's out, smooth, it's getting smoothed steamed. out, yeah, just steaming it out, yeah, like an iron to my fucking forehead, mm -hmm. just slowly but surely. Mm. Maybe that, maybe you know, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. that in this, yeah. you know, verbal yeah. lobotomy will actually make me happier. Well, I'm gonna name a band verbal lobotomy. <laughs> You're welcome, yeah, that's gonna be great. That'll be the name of this episode now, yeah, verbal lobotomy. Yeah. It's great, yeah, it's a good name, thank you. Thanks. What if I get this like a yellow track mark immediately? Absolutely. Because then YouTube is like, wait, Twitch, can we just take away money from creators? I've already said rape <laughs> in this episode. Yeah, and we'll probably. Ads. Ads. That'll save us. That'll, that's what's going to save this relationship. Ah, that's the name of the that's show. That's the name of the show. <laughs> Welcome to the ad break. Hello. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I know I am. Hell yeah. And that's it. I just wanted to ask that. Okay, thank you. But also, theoretically, you uh. could, if you wanted to show that to us, to, to us, to me, you can like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and hit the gosh darn bell and share with your, uh, with your buds. With your, with your buddies. We actually get like 15 shares a week, apparently. That's a lot that's of shares. Weird. Yeah, I know, I know I like people that. are sharing that. Yeah, that's so thank nice. you all for thank sharing. You. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to support the podcast financially, there's a couple ways to do it. If you go over to patreon.com forward slash ABWSTR, mm -hmm. you get exclusive content. We recorded some this week about the uh, queer version of The Ultimatum. Yes, we did. And that's like an hour long, too, so that's going to be a fucking... Yeah, it'll be a good yeah, video. Yeah, it'll be a, like guys. at least 40 minutes, yeah, yeah, of extra content. And it's only a dollar or three dollars, five dollars and ten dollars. Do they still have the, um, the, the trial? Yeah, free trial is available for the one and three dollars tiers, but if you want to support the podcast a little bit more, the five and ten dollar tiers, you get your name added to the description of the podcast as well at the end of the video podcast as yes. well. So you can show off the support and like, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to support us one time only, you don't want the extra content, you can go over to buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR and buy some coffees and we'll read whatever you have to say as long as it's not bad. Hell you. Fucking, we have two coffees this week. I'm fairly certain we haven't read these. We're good. Uh, yeah, because these were like six, nine days ago. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Maddie bought four coffees. Thank you, Maddie. Thanks, Maddie. Hey, Sarah and Josh. Hi. I'm Maddie. She, they. Very recently started listening to your podcast after seeing you all over my TikTok for you page and do not regret, regret it. I recently finished up my undergrad, but was so depressed this senior year due to a variety of circumstances, which manifested in me being barely, barely being able to leave my room and gaining mm. roughly 30 pounds. Mood. Ever since coming home from school, I've been trying to get myself to walk three to four miles outside every day and work out again. And your guys' podcast has been the soundtrack to these daily walks. Hmm. I probably look crazy to the cars driving around as I fully gasp at some of the Am I the Asshole titles y'all be reading out loud. Just wanted to say thanks for being a highlight to me to my getting my life back together on track after what was an extremely rough year. I've been hmm. looking for a podcast of two people just chatting about shit and you two managed to be everything I was looking for and more. Nice. Bought an even amount because it bothers me that you, the default only lets you buy an odd number. Cheers. That's fair. I get that. That is fair, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Though. Thank you. And I'm glad that yeah. we helped you. 
Yeah. yeah honestly, yeah, I, I know uh, one person in our Discord a little while ago talked about uh, how they, like, listen to us while they're, like, on bikes and shit. Like, yeah. Like, in, like... Dangerous. Wherever. Yeah. Crazy. Because you're going to laugh, you're gonna so, laugh hard, so hard, you're going to crash. Just, yeah. yeah. Just fucking... <laughs> yeah. Uh, fucking, yeah, so yeah, also, yeah, I feel that, dude, I'm in, like, I'm, I'm jump rope working out right now, I got, like, a nice yeah. weighted rope, and I've been doing, like, 10 minute workouts every Do once in a while. Do you listen to the podcast while you jump rope? No. <laughs> so it's different, huh? It is different, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone said they were working out, so I wanted to talk about how I work out. Okay. Fucking gun show. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Nico, he, they, bought three coffees, thank you. Hello, Nico. Hey, Sarah and Josh. Hi. Came across your podcast on YouTube randomly a few weeks back, and I've been binge-watching it since. Absolutely love what you guys do, and always look forward to your new episodes. Hope you both have a great day, have great days slash weeks. Also, respectfully gay for Josh. Nice. Finally, you got one! <laughs> I got one, I got one. Yeah. I'm gonna play the celebration MIDI under this, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Celebrate good times. Come, Come on! on. Uh, if you guys are, are even gayer than that, though, you should raise five stars. I forgot to say this on Apple and Spotify podcast. Please, five, five, five stars. stars. One of you gave a really nice review. <laughs> and then you rated, rated us it one stars. Star, and then our views went down 10%. It didn't, but we gotta, we gotta judge them. <laughs> we gotta judge them. To we gotta them. lie to them. <laughs> <laughs> it went down 10% during the week we didn't post. The, the, and it's because of that. It's because of that review. No. Uh, but yeah, thank you all. Oh, if you, uh, we've been, our, our TikToks have been uh, getting co-opted oh, yes. by content farms. Please tag us in them so I can leave a snide comment making fun of us. <laughs> I've done this like three times now and it's I will fun. do it. It's I like that it's happening. Yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, it's good. We've gone, we're gaining subscribers and yeah, shit because this is of a, it. This is a goal It of is mine. a goal. Yeah. I love those guys, those content farms. Yeah, they're giving us technically exposure and I'll take it. I think we should collab. We should collab. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to meet them, the yeah. guys behind the content farms. I want to, I want to set them up a little like table over there, and then like halfway in the like when we're doing it, yeah. they can just like be breaking their like candles or whatever the fuck they're doing. I want them to teach me how to paint. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. <laughs> God, this is a podcast slowly going to devolve to like the Eric Andre show if we just invite them on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, uh, is there anything else we do? <laughs> nope. Patreons get asked us to the Discord too. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Yeah, they do. A lot of shit I forget to say in the ads. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah. Okay, so I got this thing. It's from R slash. This is a new subreddit I've never seen well, before. Wait, hold on. Welcome to the Reddit. Tech, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Reddit. All right, and also. This is a long one. All right, so okay. So this what's one's the new? a fucking doozy. Okay. This one is, call, is from a subreddit called. Just to set you up. Okay. R slash. Dog regret. Okay, dog regret. How brutal That's is that? That's already pretty bad, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Title. I regret buying this dog. I should have bought more paint for my house and plants for my garden beds. Alright, already. Banger start. Alright. Also, I mean, if you're queasy about, like, people talking about animals in an abusive way... Nope, the fuck out of this one, yeah, guys. Yeah, okay, so that's a okay, trigger warning, animal. Trigger warning. Yeah, okay. The, no animal abuse happens. But just being shitty to animals. They're talking about them in a pretty shitty way. Okay, all right. I bought a husky puppy from a backyard breeder about a week ago. I knew the risks of buying them from a disreputable breeder, but I, still, I was still willing to take on the responsibility of caring for the dog. <laughs> Let me add, I wasn't looking for a pet. What? I'm a single woman and need the extra protection, especially with women and girls being taken and trafficked. I figured I could use the Husky's keenness and alertness to train her as a watchdog and alert me for, to people I couldn't see um. and use her stature and appearance to deter people from approaching while out in public. This is already super weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, uh, okay, all right. I get the feeling, but like, a hus people are going to be like, oh, a husky. Eee! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just, let's go. Yeah. All right. Okay. I planned on raising her from a pup because I thought it was better to establish that bond at a young age. I did a lot of research and read the stories of other husky owners to get a feel for the actual experience. Well, after actually having one of these things, I'm convinced <laughs> these people are 1,000% delusional about their dogs. Yeah, it's everyone's fault but mine. It's actually, it's everyone else but me. They said it's normal for Huskies to be a bit stubborn and independent. 
While she knows basic commands like sit, stay, down, come here, drop it, and leave it, she came to be knowing sit and lay down. She caught on very quickly to come here, drop it, and leave it, but if she's not getting a treat or some benefit out of doing as commanded, she won't do it. That's how you do that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Training. If I'm commanding her to sit just to test her agreeableness, All right. she stares at me and willfully refuses to do as commanded. This is not stubbornness. This is defiance. (laughs) (laughs) And it's not normal. Not normal. Or good. No, 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 no. Bro, the doggy wants a treat. Doggy wants a treat, yeah. That's, I mean, that's one of the basic. Yeah, I get what you mean. Christ. Yeah, okay. Defiance in a dog makes absolutely no sense and should be a big red flag that something is not psychologically right with the damn thing. <laughs> really referring to the dog as a thing. Yeah, it's really... Yeah, it Jesus gets worse. Christ. Um, they also said it's normal for huskies to be vocal, and this pup is vocal, but it's not good or normal behavior for a 13-week-old puppy... What? ...to consistently howl and yelp because she doesn't like being in her kennel. It's normal. That sounds pretty normal, yeah. Um, It's actually an early sign of separation anxiety. I did more digging into separation anxiety in dogs, and other signs include constantly following the owner around and always wanting to be touched by the owner. Both things my puppy does. It's also things normal puppy does. Yeah, honestly, They want to be pet. They want to be pet. They want love and affection. And you're not giving them that because you're using them as a tool. Um, I'm off from work for two weeks. We've been crate training consistently all day for three days now and she still hasn't associated howling with a lack of attention i try the positive reinforcement like i was taught to do in training class rewarding her with my presence when she gets quiet but as soon as i walk into the next room she's back to howling and it's not like she isn't smart she catches on quickly she just doesn't want to be in the crate so she acts out rather than catch on to the routine once she yelped and howled and i figured she needed to go out to go potty but she didn't she just wanted out so now, instead of howling to go potty, she howls to get out or to go outside, but quietly pees and craps in her crate. Yeah, it sounds a, like normal dog yeah, shit. Yeah, like puppy. Yeah, you signed up for this. You're going to have to puppy crate train. Yeah. Buy a gun if you want protection. <laughs> I know. You're looking for a gun. You're looking for a gun. You're not looking yeah. for a dog. You can do... You, a gun won't howl. And a gun, it will not. Yeah, and you can actually call it a thing because it's a thing. It is an object. It's not a living, breathing creature. That wants love and attention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Besi- Jesus <laughs> Bes- Christ, I fucking hate this person. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, they're the worst. Yeah, they're the worst. Besides the poor temperament and separation anxiety, she refuses to be bathed and, gro- and groomed. She smelled horrible when I bought her because she had been kept outside. The breeder told me he would bathe the available puppies, but when I got there and picked her out... He said she was the only one he didn't bathe. Uh, this is funny because I think it's just, I I don't know. I like the personality that this dog has. Honestly. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't a big deal. I figured I would just bathe her at home. Well, she was reluctant to even get near the tub, let alone go in it. I picked up her, I picked her up and tried to rinse her off and she freaked. I tried to give her a treat to calm her down. She refused it. I held her while I washed her and tried to rinse her again, and she nipped at me. I tried again to bathe her with the hose outside. She ran through my flower beds. I have to put the shampoo... Not the flower beds. <laughs> I have to put the shampoo on a towel and wipe her down every day because she stinks, but she runs from that. I bought some puppy deodorant, which does work, but I'm not about to buy that shit every week. Oh my god. And she attracts fleas very easily. Get You, you got a puppy. Get, there's flea meds. You, you fucking use them. Yeah, you give them. You have meds. to take care of your. your Ew. What, yeah, <laughs> like, you got to take care yeah. of what you wanted your gun to be. Yeah, yeah, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, not wanting to be bathed was the deal breaker for me. It became impossible for this dog to ever have a chance at bonding with me. At this point, she's also needy, whiny, and tries to demand I do what she wants when she wants. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like it's a child. Like a child, like, yeah. Oh my God. What a great mother you're going to fucking turn out to be. <laughs> exactly. Jesus I mean, maybe Christ. you don't want kids, but like, good if you don't want yeah, kids. Because you would if you suck don't want at kids. this. Yeah, you would fucking suck. Jesus. <laughs> like, she tried to demand I feed her at 10 o'clock at night by jumping in and pushing around her food tray while staring at me, even though Dude. she didn't eat when the fuck I put her food out earlier in the evening. She wants to eat when she wants, not when I tell her to. Oh no. <laughs> 
all caps oh no i don't know what that means oh no <laughs> and it's the end of the paragraph too so i don't, I don't uh, know oh my god how much more is there a lot, a lot. oh uh, my god besides her shitty disposition and poor hygiene the breeder lied about her age he said she was eight weeks but she was actually 12 weeks so i spent more money than i planned getting her vaccinated for the first time because it cost more um out of the vet than she because it costs more for first time pups after eight weeks of age and I found out at the vet that she was infested with worms oh my god poor baby that sucks yeah granted she was in good health otherwise which is a relief given where I got her from but having worms is still a sickness I saw the specks in her poop and she crapped in my when she crapped in my bathroom but the vet com- confirmed it gave her 2.5 doses of worm medi- medication and she's been crapping dead worms for the past week I mean, that's good. Yeah, you took, I mean, yeah, this is pet maintenance, I guess. You have to, like, you know, I mean, you care. said that you went to a disreputable breeder. Yeah, you should have. Hey, going to a breeder in the first place. That's already, yeah, already shitty. But, like, I mean, I get it. God damn. The dumbass tried to eat her own crap, so I punched her snout. Abuse? That's she, pretty bad, yeah. She licks her groin and her worm infested butthole, then tries to lick me in the face whenever I bend down to leash her. She like sounds puppy. really like fucking cute. Would. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I'm grossed out just by looking at her. Every time she tries to lick me or get me to pet her, I shoo her away. Any space she occupies in my house feels so unsanitary and unhealthy. I really hate this dog, and I don't trust her. But the delusional husky people guilt you to believe that if you can't handle a husky, then the issue is with you, not the dog. Uh, it yes. is with you. Yeah, it is with you. Yeah. I have a pretty decent enough schedule to exercise this dog every day. She barely wants to walk five minutes. She thinks outside is for eating and inside is for running around and playing. She also crosses in front of me on the staircase. I've almost tripped three times. And that's not, come <laughs> it's on, not that many times. Come on. I also have a pretty decent sized yard area at my townhouse where she can run around and play, but she is not fully vaccinated, has worms and fleas, refuses to bathe, and I don't trust her to, to listen off leash. You know, actually, it's the dog's fault for not going to the dog doctor and getting all her dog Yeah, I know. She should have done that herself. Yeah. Why would I take her out there to play? She has toys, treats, a lick mat, and puzzles to keep her mentally engaged. And I keep my AC on 68 all day to make sure she's cool because it's hot here in Louisiana. (laughs) And I know she's not made for this climate. You bought a husky in Louisiana and you're having problems and you think it's the dog's problem. Yeah, no, it's your fault. Yeah, it's all of this has kind of been avoided. You suck so much. So the problem isn't me. It's this dog. But ding bad husky owners. Mine. <laughs> okay, I'll read that again. <laughs> so the problem isn't me. It's this dog. But ding bad husky owners don't understand that no sane person would continue to spend time, energy and financial resources on a seriously problematic dog. And why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. dog? Did this dog <laughs> fucking rape a bunch of people? I don't Did this dog say the N-word? Yeah, like, what's up? What are you talking about? It's a so dog. So far, this dog has acted like a dog. Yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> Why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. I'm definitely not about to go out of my way to cater to a shit-eating, worm-infested, imbecile animal that thinks she's independent but needs attention all day, every day to feel good. I can't express enough how much I hate this dog and why. I can't wait to get rid of her. Okay, here we go. If she was in the Arctic, she would have been starved or shot for being so useless. Oh my god. Hell, they would have starved and shot her just for being disobedient. (laughs) Because who the fuck puts up with a defiant dog? That's asinine. I'm thinking of just letting her run away because I refuse to burden someone with this dog's poor breeding and psychopathic behavior. Yeah, yeah, the dog's a psychopath here. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the post. Wow. Wow. They got torn up at the comments, at least, right? So the original post only has one comment, and it's someone saying, hey, I don't think you're mentally healthy to have a dog, so please rehome the dog and don't just let him run away. Yeah. Am I the devil, though? There's like 300 comments. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, all right, good. Okay. Because, yeah, Jesus Christ. Also, a- yeah, somebody says that uh, huskies do not make good guard dogs. 
Yeah, I don't. That doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking. I, like, I guess. Yeah, like stereotypically, I think like Pitbull or something. You know, like. Yeah, I mean, you know. But even then, they're not like no dog is really like meant for huskies. Are like, li- I mean, they're known to be like basically toddlers all the time. Like they, yeah. they scream all the time and they need attention and they're they get very hot all the time. Yeah, because they're supposed to in be a, in the you're Arctic. In a, you're in the south, and people fucking buy these dogs. Yeah. In like hot ass areas, and then they think, "Oh my gosh, my husky is so..." Meh. No, yeah, it's because you fucking. Yeah. God damn it! Like if you're up north, I guess that's another. Like so that's different, you know. Yeah, I guess Where so. It's like you know, like at least the winters it snows a little bit. You yeah, know? and they get to go out and actually yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it, yeah. But no, you're in the fucking swamp land. It's a okay. It's already one negative point to go to a breeder. Yeah. You know. Yeah, already shitty. Already Which, bad. I mean that I'm like I, I don't know. I think I, I go think back they're... and forth on breeders on on breeders sometimes because like we've looked into I've looked into like how to get a dog before yeah and like unless you want a dog that is definitely going to be a pit bull like those are the only ones at your shelter yeah I'm not gonna lie unless you want something and I you know wanted like a smaller dog but they always get taken immediately yeah because no one wants a pit bull because it's hard to like be in an apartment with a large dog yeah especially pit bulls because they're discriminated against yeah for sure so i mean i don't know yeah it really sucks like fucking um yeah i don't know yeah i remember like man lana was like a really nice pit bull rest in peace no yeah i would love a pit bull but the problem is that apartments unless you have a house yeah it's not enough space for a big dog like that a for sure and i'm not gonna put a dog in a in a space that is too small for it No, of course not now and also, a parent's not going to let you have a pit bull. Yeah, exactly. Like, so I don't know. It's really, it, it really does suck. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's really, um, but breeders do suck. Also, yeah, breeders do suck. I, I think, I don't know. I, I, I get, I get going back and forth. I think there's like very few yeah, cases there's... where I'm like, okay, yeah, but yeah, for the most part, I think, yeah, like usually shelter best place to go. You know, yeah, I don't know, like I don't fucking. Know yeah, it sucks. I don't know. It just it just sucks all around. It just sucks when I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You're you're not mentally in a good place to have a, a pet or anything. You know. The hard truth is, um, about that though is like I the it sucks that I go back and forth because I don't want to go to a breeder. I do want a small dog, but that means I can't have a dog. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I, I get you. Yeah. I'm not in the position to have a dog, so I'm not going to go out and get one. Yeah. Because that's the responsible thing to do. Mm. Right? Yes. Yeah, I get that. I'm not going to go out and force myself to get a dog and like lie on an application and pay a bunch of money yeah. <laughs> to put a dog in a shitty environment that's going to be bad for it where I can't take care of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel you. I, yeah. If you know that you're not going to be able to handle a high energy puppy, don't fucking get, get one. Don't get one. Yeah. It should be that simple. But no, it's everyone's fault. Yeah. Theirs. Exactly. Yeah. It's the dog's temperament. Yeah, the dog's temperament. Excuse me? Because the dog knows what it's doing. Like, not only the is it a puppy knows what it's dog, doing. Sorry. It's a dog. It's a child. It's a child dog. <laughs> it's a child of a child. Yeah, like literally. <laughs> that dog's brain isn't fully developed yet. Yeah. <laughs> nah, just let it run away. God. Into the swampland of Louisiana. Why the fuck would you get a husky? Who is breeding huskies in Louisiana? A crazy person. A fucking awful person. Yeah. And they're just left outside? Yeah, that's the crazier part, too. Bro, once I got to the part where it said that uh, in Louisiana. Yeah, that is fucking insane. No, same. I'm so tired. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah it's fucked up, man. I don't know. That is just fucked up. Once I got to the point where it said that the dog should be shot. I was like, I'm doing this on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. This is fucking crazy. I get it. Yeah, I get it. God. I, asshole. Solved it. Solved it. Not even asking to be an asshole, but yeah, asshole. I feel like I have a bunch of posts today that are like, I don't even know what to say, but you're a fucking asshole. Right. I feel that. All right. Spoiler, I That's guess. That's good. So this would be a short podcast while I'm hearing? Yeah. Good. All right. All right. So I think you sent me this one. Maybe. From like a week ago. Because mm. I didn't do a podcast. So this has two titles. Yes. Like all good Am I the Devil posts <laughs> yeah. do. So this is from Ask Gay Bros. Different subreddit than normal. Ask Gay Bros? Yes. Okay. And you for sure sent me this one. Really? I think you sent me this in a text. Oh, wow. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is from Ask Gay Bros. Okay. 
friend with benefits partner is messaging me. Now on Am I the Devil? Friend with benefits soon to be husband asked me if he was cheating with me and I decided to lie because I didn't want to be involved in their drama. Okay, I definitely did not. I send swear this you to sent you. this to me. I, I thought did you did not. All right, okay. I well, have never been on the subreddit ask gay well, this bros. Is Am I the devil? Does that mean you- I I've not seen this before in All my right, life. Damn. Well, you're just outing me during Pride Month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Yeah. You're proud of who you are. All right. So, mm-hmm. friend with benef- uh, friend with benefits partner is messaging me. Full disclosure: I'm in an open relationship. I have a quote friend that I've seen a few times over a few years. We do not know each other's names. I am not interested in anything more, and I got the impression he felt the same way and was also in an open relationship. Oh. Again, never discussed this. Why would you not discuss this? I got a text on an app saying, quote, I'm engaged to Josh, and we are, are getting married, and I just found out about you. I'd just like to know if it was more than a, quote, friend situation. I immediately go to message Josh. He has disappeared, so I am only able to guess what he has happened based on the questions asked. I'm torn on what to do here. Normally, I just admit to what is happening. Full disclosure, tell all truths, but I feel a bit conflicted since Josh has blocked me. Josh is nice, but I don't want anything with him. I don't want anything with him more. I do care that he's okay, but I believe he's happy in his relationship, so should continue with his partner. Also, I don't think I'm the only one. Should I engage in this conversation? Yeah. There are two updates. Oh, fuck. There are two updates Okay. To this. Update. Josh messaged saying he's sorry and he was to, wants to concentrate on his relationship. Then said he's deleting all social media and his fiance found out from someone sending him info about me. Oh. This concerns me. Who? <laughs> but again, as one of you mentioned, it's their drama. Don't engage. I'm going to let his fiance know everything so he is aware and let him make his choices without me involved. Okay. Update two. Oh, God. I ended up sending him one last message after several from him, just saying he was my buddy and that's it. From my knowledge, he was happy in his relationship, as I am in mine. No details, just those facts from my perspective. He thanks me and I said good luck. They can figure this out on their own. Thanks for all the respectful posts and opinions. I'm sorry, but like, is like, I'm sorry. If you know that someone is cheating on their partner, you should tell the partner. You should probably tell them, yeah. Just because of the STDs. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, the, that, oper- the possibility that you could spread shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I, yeah. You can't trust someone that's already lying. Yeah. Even if you have protected sex with that person. It doesn't matter. You have no idea if if you suspect there are other people, it's possible they might be having unprotected sex and are STDs spreading STDs around. No, I get you. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I feel you. So just just on that fact alone, before even getting into like morals and ethics, yeah, you should tell, you should tell <laughs> yeah. yeah. that is about to get married. But Sarah. Have you considered that it's their drama and I'm not a part of it? I didn't do anything here. <laughs> and I mean, you know, sometimes this will happen. I've I've had friends that um uh, uh date are gay and date men and they'll straight up they'll go to a hookup and then they'll find out later that the guy that they just banged uh is straight and married. And they're like, I don't want to be sucked into that drama. I think that's why that's a that's a that's mentality the common, like, yeah. of like, I don't want to get sucked into this because that's a whole bunch of drama. I was trying to get live my gay life. Yeah. yeah. But like when you know. Yeah. You gotta tell them. I think it's also crazy that the only thing that like the AOP is concerned about is like, who told him? <laughs> who? It is pretty funny. I'm worried. I'm it's worried. Like, who now. the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean I would have that feeling too. So, I mean, I think there's a little bit of extra context there, but also, like, I mean, and I get not wanting to be involved, but it is a shitty thing to do, you know? Yeah, it's a little shitty, yeah. It's a little shitty. It's also shitty that, like, you're just not talking to uh, Josh, like, about, like, yeah. you said you didn't know his name, like, you didn't want to get into any, like, details, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, well, this is what happens if there's no communication, there's no, like... I guess, like... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, should <laughs> you should be able to communicate things, That's yeah. the thing. But, I mean, also, yeah, I guess in the gay community, that it's kind of the, like, hey, what's up? Do you want to bang? Okay. And then that's <laughs> what happens. 
And then later it's like you got all these strings attached. Yeah. You know what I mean? God. It's just wild, man. Just a wild little... It's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just get caught up in drama and you make the wrong decision. You're right. Yeah. God. I'm not judging him too hard, but... Yeah, yeah I get you. Solved it, though. Solved it. Am I the asshole for expecting my girlfriend to move in and listen to my rules? Oh, yeah. I wanted to do this one, but I really didn't realize you caught that one. Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend, 26 female, and I, 28 male, have been living together for a few months. Recently, I got some money after my grandpa passed and was able to buy a duplex. I put down 20% and she and I have agreed to split the mortgage, property taxes, insurance, utilities, etc. It came out to 1000 for each and she agreed. God. That's a lot. Imagine yeah. you get a home and it's more than what you would pay in rent. Yeah, right. I just, I just light myself on fire. Yeah. <sighs> but then she wanted to make changes to the house I don't agree with and bring her dog. Her dog? <laughs> Wait, hold on. She's paying half. <laughs> yeah. My house, though. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, me. Me. My house. Me. Her dog has been living with her parents for the three months we moved in together. The place I rented before buying. She wants to bring him because he's her dog and her parents only agreed to let him stay with her temporarily. But I don't want a dog to move in with us and potentially damage the house. What? Why? Who cares? <laughs> He isn't known what to damage. damage. <laughs> he isn't known to damage stuff, as far as I know. But he does run around the house, and I want her to pay one hundred extra dollars a month what? for potential a damage. Pet fee? A pet fee. You're charging your girlfriend a pet fee. Hell yeah, Cat, when you when you uh when you when you uh when you landlord too close to the sun, <laughs> <laughs> or one thousand extra as damage deposit. She is angry because we agreed on 1000 and no damage deposit and feels like I'm making it hard to bring her dog because I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess you are. <laughs> yes. Yes. That wasn't, was not that in the post? No. Oh, okay. I thought it would that'd be so funny if it was. God damn, these ad libs are hard to catch sometimes. <laughs> no, sorry. No, that's fine. I it's like, all right. I like tricking you. Damn. Um, she also wants to put a clothesline in my backyard and I find it weird and tacky. Um, because I'm, uh, I hate poor people. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's because I grew up in suburbia, <laughs> but everyone I know uses the dryer, but she insists and she Some things needs... can't go in the dryer though. I know. I, I've been, I have been, was raised also. I grew up in suburbia and I also was raised to put everything in the dryer. Don't put your bras in there. I've ruined so many bras. Yeah. Right. Like shit. Don't do that. It fucking just takes away the hooks. That, yeah you know god i find it weird and tacky maybe it's because i grew up in suburbia but everyone i know uses the dryer but she insists she needs to have a clothesline and hates the dryer she claims her clothing is too expensive to be put in the dryer and she only uh has a used clothesline or drying rack her whole life okay i'll say it again but she has only used a clothesline or drying rack her whole life but because our yard can accommodate a clothesline i should allow it <laughs> I deem it so on my landlord property. <laughs> yeah, that I is the, weird I am phrasing. the lord of this land. I don't, <laughs> I don't want the neighbor to see her put her underwear on the clothesline, and I think they will complain as it ruins the surrounding house value. All right, HOA. Hi, yeah, Jesus. She wants uh, to fill up a large part of the downstairs with her stuff. Our place isn't very big, and she wants to bring her skis, rock climbing equipment, like ropes, harness, etc., Two bikes and her winter tires. She sounds awesome. Yeah, she sounds cool as shit, yeah. She also wants to buy a mount to install for the bikes in the winter. She doesn't have many other things like clothes, but we don't have a big basement. It's like a half basement. And she wants to put her stuff downstairs. I want to convert the downstairs into a gym for me. <clears throat> but she wants to move her stuff out I gotta, of- <laughs> I gotta have the man cave so I can stay away from my girlfriend. Sorry, no deal. <laughs> no deal. She wants to move her stuff out of her parents' place because they are going to downsize when they retire in a year or two. I told her she needs to either not do these things, like the clothesline, or pay for the storage place and dog. This is this is a good way to start paying for all the rent when she breaks up with you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She refuses, though, and says either I let her move in with the agreed-upon rent or she's finding another place to live. She's currently back with her parents, and I've been paying for the whole place alone. She thinks I'm the asshole for penny-pinching her. But I don't think a landlord would be okay with her dog and clothesline, so I'm doing her a favor. What? She also makes more, 130k versus my 90k. 
So it's not that she can't pay her fair share. Oh, so you're jealous. And you're, you're fucking penny jealous pinching. and you're penny pinching so you can steal because more she makes money. More than you. Yeah. Wow, what an insecure guy, actually. <laughs> what an insufferable asshole. Yeah. Jesus. Bro, fucking waking up one morning realizing your partner's a landlord. Exactly. <laughs> that was the perfect way of what I was. That was yeah. the perfect, succinct way. What I was I was gonna be like you're with someone for five years yeah and then it's like all right rent it's time perfect and then you're like we should move in together and you have like the perfect house twenty percent down you agree on the rent and then you're like okay I'm just gonna start I'm gonna bring my personality in we're actually gonna start yeah and then right. they they start cracking down on you like a landlord ridiculous disappointment absolutely ridiculous yeah 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 I'd I'd uh, I'd freak I'd out. explode I'd explode too yeah. Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? Like, I don't. Yeah, it's just fucking crazy. Like, who? Yeah, what the? Why? Fuck? Yeah, why are you doing this? It's it's that it's that it really is that like fucking love of money that really ruins people's lives. Yeah, it's not really and, going in with the mindset of we are going to build a home together. Yeah, no, and you got like a duplex, like you fucking like yeah, you know you nice. you got yeah with a basement like yeah. but no, it has to be a gym. <laughs> you know, because that's what I want. At home gym, straight up worst idea really i'm gonna say here yeah i'm actually gonna say that you want to know why why too fucking expensive just get a goddamn membership yeah stop it's it's um it's actually kind of the reason why like um i know people like shit this is also a kind of like a problem is like okay if everyone like you're you're wasting a bunch of money and a lot of resources Mm -hmm. on something that is a cheaper but you don't want to go to the gym because there's other people around or god forbid you know, poorer people than you, you know? Oh, shit, yeah. It's it's kind of like a thing where it's like, um, I mean, it's nice to have, like, your own, like, washer-dryer, right? But that is a washer-dryer in every house, like... I see. That's, like, you know what I mean? Where it's, like... Like, energy-wise. Yeah, and also material-wise, where it's, yeah. like, you know, it's it's sitting there idle seven, six days out of the week, mm. when in reality, like, it is more efficient to have, like, a laundromat, you know, where technically everyone can just go... That is interesting. Yeah, I, I remember, I heard about that, like, from a, um... Like, a, well, there's your problem, like, someone talking about that, oh, you know? Wow. Or, like, every unit needs to, like... Because if you decide that every unit needs at least a washer-dryer hookup, yeah. what happens is you need to now do ventilation for every unit. Yeah, and, have, yeah. and, like, now everyone's, you know... You know, I never thought about that. Yeah. I always thought at-home gyms were for rich people because, like, as a fat person and a fat family that grew up, my mom would always be like, I can lease a treadmill and that's how I'll exercise. Because um, she felt judged when she went to the gym. Mm. So it was easier for her to do it at home, like next to and her I, bed. You I know? think there are like legitimate reasons to have like at home equipment, you yeah. know? Like I think like if you have like one or two dumbbells, yeah, it makes sense, you know? Or if like, you yeah. know, but like uh, I think it, something that's lost is like there's like a bit of like a community aspect, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's, the individualization. Like, yeah. You know, because even like, that's the whole point of having of ostracizing someone from society is to make it so that they have to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Yeah. And um isolate them from community. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But in reality, yeah, you should just have community. You yeah, know? you should just feel you know, you shouldn't feel like you can't go to the gym because people are gonna judge you. Yeah. And right. you shouldn't feel like you're poor for going to a laundromat. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly, yeah. And so that is interesting. I never thought about that that way. Oh yeah, and I don't know. And I think I, I guess I feel that now when it's like you have all this room, yeah. you know. And like it's one thing I could even like if like there was a want it this should also should have been discussed as well. I feel yeah. like if you high key a bunch like, of problems are showing up all yeah, at once already. in this couple. Yeah, where it's like, you know, like okay, like say like we, we decide we want to get like a three bedroom apartment, right? Yeah. And I'm like, all right, we should both have an office and uh uh you know, a bedroom, right? Well, that's yeah. what we've discussed. Yeah. But then I'm like, Well, hold on. I want a gym. I want a gym. And I need a place to sleep and do work so you don't get a <laughs> <laughs> I don't get an office. Yeah. That would be and funny. I- <laughs> but the thing about it is though, it's the level of um compromise that someone is willing to do, and it's just sort of the plasticity of a person. Mm. Because you could say that to me, and I would legit be like, all right, yeah, but you're paying more in rent. <laughs> That's fair. That's <laughs> and fair. I would do that because yeah. I don't fully need an office. I get that. I would still- probably just use it, use it for storage. That's fair. <laughs> but yeah, fucking... Um, no. I get it, though, yeah. But I don't know, yeah, you should, if you're splitting everything down the half... We haven't even touched on the dog shit yet. No, the dog like, shit is crazy That's, that's I think, the craziest part. 
where it's like, okay, no history of damage. Also, pet fees are fucking bullshit. Yeah. You know, like already, like there's no, the only damage that'll happen is maybe to furniture. Your dog's not a fucking idiot that's going to run into the wall and just cause dent after dent after dent after also, dent. Also, why did you give her an option of like an extra hundred a month or 1,000 deposit? Does that mean that you think that she's not going to be with you for a couple of months? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where it's like. For at least ten months. Well, actually, he's he's training her to be ready for the landlord when they break up. Yeah, yeah I'm like, this isn't like the it home no is sense. the end game, right? Yeah, I you feel know? like. Nah, no. <laughs> God, that's so stupid. That's the dumbest fucking like, shit. You get a home so you don't have to deal with some motherfucker. Yeah, you who know, who's putting all these extra rules on you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's so dumb. Also, you get a home for storage. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. Like, every apartment I've ever lived in has not had any storage at all. Yeah, you, you figure it out, asshole. Like, yeah. That's why you get a fucking house. Yeah. Yeah, God, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, fucking, um, God, what a dick. Yeah. God. Anyway, I think we solved it. I think we did because solve it. Because he's a, he's a dick. He's a dick, yeah. That's the solved. That's the solved. That's the, the solution. Um, this one also has a fucking two separate ones and I wouldn't actually say this one just because it's it's really funny mm -hmm. okay so on am I the asshole the title is mm -hmm. am I the asshole for being blunt with my son's teacher okay and am I the devil title is am I the asshole for being an asshole <laughs> I think I saw this one. I didn't do it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I, if that's a title like that, it's gotta be good, right? <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Oh, I got removed on Am I the Asshole. Yeah, of course it did. Yeah. All right, so I have three boys. Mm -hmm. My eldest, Chase, is 11. My middle, Joey, is seven. And my youngest is five. No name to that one. Okay. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, Chase doesn't have the same last name as me or my ex wife. He and I don't look alike. Sometimes people will fish to find out why that is. All we say is that we are father and son. I had a parent-teacher conference with Chase's teacher yesterday, and she asked me about it. I laughed and said if she wanted me to be honest with her. She said, please do. I said, I know she's a loudmouth who spreads gossip like a virus, and that's why I won't tell her any business she doesn't know. <laughs> she said what I said was hurtful, and she was asking because she cared. I said... No, you asked because you're nosy. I don't begrudge for that, and I don't want to be begrudge you for putting our business out there either. Now she's giving me an attitude, whereas I still act the same. I'm not apologizing, and don't give a fuck, because school ends in 44 hours. And no, my son is as well-adjusted as other kids, which probably makes it more curious. Why? And for all, <laughs> all you and for all you nosy people, I adopted Chase when he was two and he already had a name. He refuses to change his last name. He and I are super close and it's nothing personal. He writes me little notes teaching me how much he loves me. That's what He's I fucking thought. With, That's what anyone my, with a brain would think. <laughs> no, I, well, listen, I'll tell Reddit. I'm not telling that nosy bitch of a teacher though. <laughs> what the, what fuck? the fuck? I'll put it out publicly <laughs> for everyone to hear. But what if that if that C word of a teacher <laughs> dares fucking ask me, I'm gonna tell her she's a nosy bitch. Bro, you're gonna go <laughs> school ends in 44 <laughs> hours, and so does that woman's career because she's quitting. <laughs> she's, quitting. <laughs> she's like, I gotta deal with this she's shit, dude. Outie. Holy bro! Shit. Why? Literally, and then telling Reddit, and then telling Reddit, and then telling Reddit, and uh, it's the most how hard was that? And it's the most milk toast thing you've ever heard. Adopted. Your All right. No shit. You have a different last name. Yeah, so yeah. That's what I fucking thought. It's either adopted or different kid from marriage. Who cares? Yeah. No one cares. From a different marriage or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Who gives a shit? No, actually, God, it's because you're damn. you're a gossip whore. <laughs> Yeah, uh, tune You're a in. Slut for uh, info. Tune in next week, Thursday nights on TNT for gossip. Gossip, horror. Horror, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! What a fucking little freak. Gossip horror is Gossip Girl, but for you know the reboot, <laughs> it's the, the gritty reboot. Yeah, for women. That's fucking crazy. I I, I didn't straight up. I didn't read that last paragraph too. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't realize he gave the fucking answer. Yeah, what the fuck? That's so funny to me. Like, yeah, of course that's what everyone thinks. Yeah. 
it, she was probably just making <laughs> like conversation nice. yeah, you know and like yeah like, i'm just asking wasn't even like hey is something wrong with your kid is it because you guys have that wasn't anything like that what no, a weird just like fucking a... so like defensive for no reason watch his kid is a different race and he's like nobody knows <laughs> Nobody knows about my oh thing. Oh my god! That Only I adopted if. this child. And it's like fucking everyone knows. Yeah. So why? What happened here, guys? <laughs> What's up with this one? You're a fucking you're gossiper. a fucking gossiper. You fucking whore. <laughs> That's just wild. What an <laughs> asshole! Like literally, anger management. <laughs> anger management needed. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. When you, when you watch Punch Drunk Love and you're like, I like Adam Sadler in this movie. I'm gonna start <laughs> punching glass. <laughs> Why would he ask the question, am I an asshole? Am I an asshole? It's either you am think I'm you're asshole? not, or am you I, think you am were. I, am I an asshole for being an asshole? It's such a good it fucking title. It is so style. true. God. So I just walked right. in here and started insulting everyone. I, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's obviously, uh, yeah, fucking, uh... It's probably bait, too. I think that's what most people are saying, yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> make any damn sense oh this one's fine yeah all right but yeah fuck it. did we solve it did yeah I say, yeah i think so. i think yeah i think we solved it yeah okay. christ <laughs> christ almighty i'm sorry <laughs> it's okay so good that was really funny fucking awesome am i the asshole for taking away my daughter's car keys after a prank oh i i didn't read i wanted to read this one but i didn't before you picked it yeah my first and probably last time posting <laughs> so dramatic <laughs> This is a one-time event, baby. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. This guy posts to oh, Reddit. Reddit dot fucking net. <laughs> My 38 male kids, female 19, male 19, are having a pranks competition, and until recently, their pranks have been harmless. But the other day, my daughter decided that it'd be funny... To, to kill my son. Lines. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> awesome. We oh. had the same idea. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. But the other day, my daughter decided that it'd be funny to dye my son's hair purple. Oh my God. Blasphemy. Kill her. Death penalty. When I saw my son coming downstairs with purple hair, I was horrified. I ask him why his hair was purple, and he answers that his uh, sister dyed it as a prank. Uh, I call my daughter downstairs, and I ask her to explain. She says that she did it as a prank, and that it's temporary hair color spray. Oh, uh, that's fine. Yeah, well, who cares? So it won't last. He takes one shower. It'll, it'll, it'll be gone. Go yeah, out. it'll be gone. Yeah. I'm still angry, because my son has school, and he's going to have to go to school with purple hair. God Everybody's forbid. gonna think he's gay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right, totally right what this is. Yeah, very coded language here. That like, you just yeah. call him a slur at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I tell her to give me her car keys. She, of course, at first refuses and says that it's not fair to take her car keys when I never punished my son for his pranks. I retorted that her brother never pulled that kind of prank. Wow, the coloring your car hair purple prank. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the this deadly like, so like the do not deadly, do that yeah christ she calls me an asshole but still gave me her car keys she immediately left for school afterwards and since she came back home she refuses to speak to me even though i tried doing what i don't know because he won't say yeah um, my wife said that taking her car keys was too much for such a little prank even my son said he didn't mind the hairspray color yeah, okay so if he didn't care then yeah why do you care so much i still think i did nothing wrong i mean <laughs> I only took her car keys. It's not like I had uh, kicked her out of the house. Am or dyed I the her asshole? hair. <laughs> what an asshole! Yeah, pretty, pretty obviously. An obviously, asshole. yeah. You're homophobic. I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, right. Like shit. I, yeah, that's so. Who cares? Everyone dies their fucking Everybody's hair now. Everybody's gonna think he's a liberal. Or he's gonna think he's a Twitch streamer. God forbid. Oh my god, that would be like bad. Ninja. Yeah. Like ninja. Everybody's gonna think he's ninja. Yeah, a successful person. <laughs> <laughs> god forbid. Oh man, isn't that wow. funny? That is so. What a weird, what like, a weird overreaction. Yeah, that's like, how did she get to school too? Though, like, did she have to like pay walk. for an Uber? Something I don't know. Yeah, like Jesus, mm. monetarily like frustrating your walk, daughter, but like a nineteen-year-old, right? Maybe. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, nineteen. 
stuff. It's college. Right, yeah, probably. Well, oh yeah, she's a fucking adult. Yeah, and you take away the. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait fucking... a minute. Maybe the story's fake. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's fucking fake. It's Reddit.com. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. But yeah, no. What a so yeah. In this scenario. Problems. Yeah. Fucking. Who cares? Who that like a, a prank who war. Gives a dang shit. God. I thought it was going to be like the prank was like, we're going to go down to the pier and try and kiss some ladies. <laughs> you remember those pranks from the early oh, yeah, YouTube? Oh, yeah, that guy. What prank was it? Sam, Sam Pepper? Oh, yeah. It, it killing your best friend prank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, actually, the, the, those uh, pranks actually. So, yeah, here it's, you kissing know. Kissing my sister on the pier prank? Kissing sister prank is on the same level as dyeing my brother's hair <laughs> yeah. purple prank. I, how fucking dare. How dare. Yeah. God, what a fucking what a old people. Oh, I hate God, them. Getting sent to a home. Yeah, getting sent to a fucking home, dude. Oh. God, anyway, solve that solved shit. It. Hell yeah! All right. Am I the asshole for skipping my biological daughter's graduation? <laughs> yes. To attend my potential stepkids instead. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you are. Unless it, you're not. Yeah, actually, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, 41 male, have an ex, which I have three children with, one of which recently had her high school graduation. My daughter, Angie, 17 female, late birthday, invited me to her graduation, and I said I'd be there. I'm currently in a committed relationship to my girlfriend of a few months, 41 female. Oh my god, what? few months, yeah. Oh, shit. Who has a daughter, Lauren, 24 female. Lauren recently graduated with a bachelor's in biology. A week before the graduations, I was then given an invite by my girlfriend and Lauren to her graduation. Her father passed away and she told me it would mean the world to have someone there to support her in his place. I agreed before learning what the date and time of the event was. Dur day Classic mistake. Yeah. Day of the graduation. I, I gotta go to two proms. Exactly. Take two days to the prom. This is what Fuck. this is. Yeah. Yeah. Day of the graduation. I'm getting ready to head over to Angie and her mother's house to head off to the ceremony. My girlfriend asked me why I'm getting ready to, to so early, so I explained it's in two hours, got an hour's drive, and want to make sure I'm there on time so I don't hold them up, as well as travel time to the venue. Then she cuts me off to say she had no idea that was today, and told me, uh, and told me today was also Lauren's graduation. Oh shit, fuck. Lauren's ceremony was three hours after the start time of Angie's graduation. I did some math and figured I had time to at least be partially present for Angie's graduation, give her the gift I had for her, and take some pictures beforehand, but my girlfriend was not too happy with the idea, stating it would be devastating if I didn't keep my prom promise to Lauren, and what? that I wouldn't be, quote, stepfather material if I blew her off like that. I tried to explain I'd still be there for the entirety of Lauren's ceremony with this plan, but she just wouldn't listen, but wouldn't give me any reason why either besides just me, quote, owing it to her and her daughter. Holy shit. What a bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry. I let that get the best of me and gave Angie a call, told her I was having issues with my car and wouldn't be able to attend. You fucking lied, dog! Yeah. However, I would see her as soon as I could to get the gifts and take her out to dinner to celebrate with me. I went to Lauren's ceremony later in the day. Of course, I was in some of the pictures, which were posted on Facebook, and I was tagged in them. You fucking my idiot. My wife and probably Angie, too, saw the photos on my you page. You horrible little idiot. My ex-wife is livid, saying I betrayed my daughter and blew her off for some other kid I barely know or have any responsibility for. I tried to play it off like we took Lauren's car there, but she didn't listen. Still lying. <sighs> she said I could have done better, could have done more. With stuff like Uber and Lyft, I could have gotten a ride if I cared enough to see her and pay the fees. That but is I true. just decided not to, and I didn't, don't deserve to be in her life anymore. Angie isn't responding to my calls to set up our agree agreed-upon dinner date to celebrate her achievement. Am I the asshole, or are they just blowing things out of proportion? I can't understand how not even bothering to attend partially would make me the asshole, but I figured planning a day just for her separately would make up for that. Am I wrong? There's an edit. Okay, what's the edit? Edit. Me and Angie were never close. She's what I... Oh, sorry. You know what? There's. I also want to bring up a two comments. Because some of the OP of this uh, Am I the Devil post brought up uh, two, two some, comments. Some more comments. Yeah. Okay, okay so edit. Me and Angie were never close. She's what I considered my, quote, different slash boring child. Always on her phone around me. We never shared any interests. It's not like we were buddy-buddy. 
Angie always had social problems. Bro, I am I, quite I, close it, to Lauren. It, it, I I was about to be like, man, fucking women fucked this up for you, man. I was about to be like, dog, no, no, no. women suck. You suck ass. You also suck, yeah. Holy shit. Angie always had social problems. I am quite close to Lauren. She's very funny and outgoing. Easy, enjoys engaging in conversation slash debate with me. Addison, someone said I barely knew Lauren. And original OP had two comments under the post. Okay. Stuff. Okay. Me and Angie were never close. She was what I consider my different boring child, always on her phone around me. We never shared any interest. It wouldn't be too much of a shame, but I really wanted to at least do my duties as a father. If she relinquishes me of that, I guess I wouldn't do anything to stop it. And the second one. What a fuck. I honestly know more about my girlfriend's daughter than my own. She never bothered to get to know me. Your own Your own daughter? daughter. Yeah. I think it works I don't, the opposite way. Yeah, I don't think it's on the daughter to bother. Yeah. That, that's personally. Yeah. I think, I mean, you know. And actually, there was an Onion article today that I read oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like, parents very disappointed in um, daughter, only daughter's lack of effort in getting to know them. Yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like legit. Dude. It's like, yeah. even when she was a baby, she would just lay there. And like, <laughs> she didn't even ask me anything about myself. <laughs> and it's so yeah, fucking- Yeah, that baby fucking sucked, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally right. what the dog lady would do if she had a baby. It's yeah, like, oh, obviously for there's sure. something psychologically wrong with this baby. She's not asking me. Obviously, this baby's a narcissist because she's <laughs> not asking me about me. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, you're a fuckhead, man. Yeah, you're an asshole, uh, yeah. Also, your girlfriend sucks. Also, your girlfriend ass. sucks. And actually, you both are good for each other because you're both awful yeah, people. Yeah, you both suck yeah. shit. Jesus. Yeah, the original uh, "Am I the Devil?" T- the "Am I the Devil?" title was yeah. This isn't gonna r- cause any resentment in my biological yeah. children. <laughs> Fucking um, I don't know. I, okay, okay. Graduations are all important. Yes, high school graduation is a bigger deal than a college graduation. Is all I'm gonna say. Really, you're gonna. It's all more right. emotionally impactful. I feel like yes, and I, get that. I, I do think a college like it's harder to graduate from college no i agree with that yes but i feel like you know the kid it's like you're fucking growing up yes you're yeah. gonna go be an adult that's why i agree with it yeah, yeah. because this is literally the most tra- this is the marking of a transitionary period from zero to 18 yeah 18 until you die <laughs> you know no legit like, and i think also just the um how difficult it is to be in college and not working. It's not like you're graduating into the workforce. You're yeah. already in, but you're most likely you're already in the workforce when you're in college. Yeah. So you the know? graduation is just like a little party you can have because you did a lot you of really a lot hard of work, work and you deserve a party. Yeah. Yes. And that's great. But like, I feel like if my parents, my parent, cause one's dead and the <laughs> other one's dead to me. Thank if my to, family yeah. Was like, I'm not going to go to your college graduation. I'd be hurt a little be, bit. Yeah. But I would be like, okay. But if they were like, fuck your high school graduation, I'd be like, you don't like me. Like, you don't yeah, like, right? like me at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I totally get that. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's fucking crazy. Shit, even my fucking, uh, my sister and uh, brother-in-law flew down, I think. I think, yeah, I think Wes did fly down for my graduation. My, high school. my brother on my dad's side rode a motorcycle from Houston, Texas to Orlando, fucking Florida. Awesome. For based, my high school graduation. Based in red pilled. The fucking dope as shit. That's cool as fuck. Actually. He arrived on a fucking motorcycle. That is some awesome shit. Uh, yeah. Good on him, man. Yeah. Yeah. God. The only good part of the family. <laughs> the only good side <laughs> of the family. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's important. Yeah. It's it is important. important. I agree with that. It's a big deal. I don't know. Yeah. And I also keep seeing like graduations because it's graduation season. Oh, yeah. And I keep thinking, because these kids are looking old, man. Like, I keep yeah, thinking right. it's college. And I'm like, this is high school? And I'm like, they're putting on these, like, big-ass fucking, uh, like, celebrations. Like, it's, like, fucking hundreds of people. Yeah, and, and honestly, thing. like, I feel like it's a little bit more, like, impactful now, because, like, with COVID, like, having to be yeah. forced to go to school. Especially for, like, the like people that graduated in, like, 2020, 2021, yeah. even maybe 2022. Yeah. Like, having to deal with, like... A virtual, like, yeah. you know, ceremony must suck. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah and I know people I mean, even in college, in college like, had to do, do it, yeah. too. Yeah. It is hard. It is, it's just yeah. like, it's, you've already been an adult for a long time. You know what I mean? Not yeah. that long, but like a, 
a period, a period of, time. of time. Yeah, you know. And I, it is definitely an accomplishment. I don't want to degrade uh, college. No, not at all. No, of course not. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but like, it, I think I don't know. It, it, it's like it's, the difference between a fifteen-year-old's birthday party and a twenty-five-year-old's birthday yeah, party. Yeah, I, you know I what agree I mean. With that. I agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an asshole, man. What a dick. What a fucking dick, dude. Solved it though. <laughs> that, was good. that was a good one. That was a good yeah. high five. All right, get ready for the title of this one. All right, I'm ready. If this you're... is from True Off My Chest. Oh no. The love of my life is getting married tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> okay. All right, sorry. I, 28 male, dated this amazing woman, now 27 female, back in college. We were together for three years, and I can honestly say that those years were the best years of my life. It's so sad to oh say that. Oh my God. She's funny, ambitious, incredibly smart, and stunningly beautiful. We were compatible in just about every way imaginable. We broke up towards the end of my senior year of college because my mom didn't approve of her, parentheses, cultural differences, and threatened to disown me if I didn't leave her. That sucks, dog. That does suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> my what dad wasn't in the picture, so my mom raised me. We're very close, and I didn't want to lose my mom, so I left my girlfriend. I was planning on proposing to her, so the breakup really hit me hard. We stayed friends and eventually started seeing other people. I met my now fiance. Okay. About two years ago, and she introduced my ex girlfriend to a friend of hers. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Wait. Whoa, this got messy real fucking quick. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. They hit it off almost immediately and got engaged after six months of dating. That was about a year ago. What the ago. fuck is going on? What? Why is this all I so I thought I was fast? over my ex. I never had a problem seeing her casually date other men, but I've watched her fall in love with her new fiance and I can't take it anymore. I had a mental breakdown the day I found out she was engaged. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? Whoa. <laughs> Gee, this is not, this is not, this is like... <laughs> We got fucking love fucking four dimensional uh, things right now. Jesus yeah. Christ. I cried for hours. What? The All throughout her wedding planning process, I played the role of the supportive friend. Why? But whenever she mentioned wedding details, I felt sick. What? Did just stop. Don't do it. Get away from her. What? She's getting married tomorrow. I don't know how. Treat I'm her like the plague. She's getting married tomorrow. I don't know how I'm supposed to sit there and watch her marry another man. I still love her. I regret leaving her. I regret not putting my foot down with my mom. She should be my wife right now, but tomorrow I'm losing her forever. <laughs> He's saying this God. all while having a fiance of two years. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> why? Why do you are you in a relationship then? You are so clearly <laughs> in love with your un ex. Unavail oh, oh my yeah. God. But tomorrow I'm losing her forever, and I don't know how to cope with that. And I know I'm selfish for feeling this way. You're more than selfish, dog. Yeah, you're a little bit more you're than selfish. Deranged, yeah, you're a little up. deranged. Uh, she's happy and in love. All I've ever wanted for her was for her to be happy. But I thought I was going to be the man to make her happy. <laughs> how? Like you're dating how someone else? How about you else? stop being a fucking? You should. You're you're just a pussy that like pussied <laughs> yeah. out. Four years ago, and you can't get and you over can't it. Stop pussy. And yeah. you've never you get no therapy, no, no like it's self not reflection your past therapy. I think. Yeah. What the fuck? Actually, even after the breakup, I always thought we'd find our way back to each Why? other, but we didn't. What the Why? fuck makes you think that? Now I'm engaged to a woman I don't love, and I'm losing the woman of my dreams, and I can't do anything about it. I'm heartbro I'm heartbroken. I don't want advice. I just really needed to get this off my chest. <sighs> and someone said he's 100% going to marry his fiance even no. though he doesn't love her. <laughs> but not when she finds his fucking Reddit account. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's fucking a hundred people involved, apparently. Two years. There's a two years. Two years you're dating and you're like so in love with them. 
and, and, they, then and, and then his ex gets married and he's crying for he's hours and you're like down like what the fuck's going on and you're why like, are you, what why the are you hell? doing this and you find why his you reddit fucking... account and you find out he's never loved you yeah yeah right like yeah literally you and you he just admits it openly to the, the public i never fucking i don't love this bitch <laughs> i don't <laughs> fucking love her. love her i don't love her at all so wait he, it. he did a fucking hold on he did a comment there's oh he oh good he's where someone himself. asks him why he's still with his um uh, someone asked him about his current fiance. And yeah, because this is said, a good fucking yeah, good question to ask. He said she has good qualities. I like her as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're friend oh zoning. You're friend zoning your own fiance. Red- Reddit needs to come together and get a, a. He's just not that into you, and like give it to, like the the movie. He's yeah. just not that into you. God. Give it to his fiance. What the fuck, dude? Fiance. So he fiance. decided to propose. Yeah, right. And he's gonna marry her, probably. She. What a. You don't give a shit. Wow. Wow, dude. <laughs> Tame and Paul ruined this country. <laughs> I, ge- I genuinely believe that now. I gen- you know, I used to like Tame Impala, and I have to, I have to uh, take on some responsibility. It's one thing to like, like the girl that has a boyfriend in high school. You yeah, know it's what another I mean? thing to fucking fiance and like, yeah. be, but and like, because also everyone knows each other because like the fiance yeah. set her up with a friend of hers. Yeah. Now, actually, we didn't get this Reddit post, but the fiance made a post about. The how she male knows. fiance, yeah. oh, yeah. and how she wants to fuck, <laughs> and I, but him. I don't know why I, I don't know why I said, and I don't know why I said yes to this proposal from a husband I don't even want. <laughs> like, I don't even know. How, I mean, and I don't experience attraction this way. I don't know how you can be in love with two people at once, fam. I, I get that. As yeah. soon as I'm in love with one person, it's like blinders, blinders. Yeah, yeah, straight up. And it's been like that for five years. <laughs> Like, it's never going away. Yeah, I get you. There's no one else possible ever again. Like, the idea of having to go, like, date again. Oh, yeah. No, I feel makes that. me want to throw up. Yeah, no, I'm never dating again, I no, think. If, if, this, if this falls through, it doesn't I'm work just, out, I'm celibate for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm, I'm buying a real doll. <laughs> I'll buy a real doll now. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, fucking fuck it. do it. Why not? Who gives a shit? <laughs> but, like, yeah, I don't understand it. I don't get it. And I think it's just, I don't know. Yeah. The people are built different. Yeah. I Yeah, honestly. It's just not something that's ever going to happen to me in my life. I so feel, I yeah. can't, I can't <laughs> empathize with that guy. No, yeah, I get that. Yeah, I can't empathize. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. It's one thing to have it be like in high school. Yeah. When you're not fully developed as a person. When as you're a, a mind. dang adult, like, how do you yeah. not, like, grow up? Yeah. And, and it's fine to, for him to be in love, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. It's, it's bad. That he's to with drag a person. Everyone else down yeah. because of it. Yeah. Because he thinks of marriage or love. I want to know, like a... know if there's an update post to that now. That'd be so funny. I don't think so. Let me see. Well, she got married yesterday, and um, I'm about I to think shoot it was up removed. this place. <laughs> no, it's still up. Oh, okay. Damn. Still, wow. Actually, kind of ballsy. So this is like still be like, yeah, I'm going to fucking. God damn. That fucking. That yeah, just, everyone's just that... saying break up with your family. All right, yeah, yeah, because of course, break up with your fucking fiance. Like, Jesus, don't rope her into it. Yeah, someone said, like, the tone of this post makes you the victim, but you're not because you made every single decision. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. God, you didn't step up to your mother five years ago and you're making it all our problems. Absolutely. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you go ahead. All right. Oh, wait, solve it. Oh yeah, we did solve it. Yeah, shit. That's our fucking that's, that's our, our that's thing. our slogan. We yeah, things. we solve things. Yeah. yeah for people. That's our that's our merch as well. Yeah. I, buy forgot, it. I forget we have merch. Buy our merch. We'll do better merch in the future. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure. All right. Um, yeah, all right. I'll do hmm, mm. Okay, yeah, I'll do this one. Mm. Am I the asshole for making my sister apologize to my wife? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Off You're going to say yes? <laughs> All right. Well, hold on, everybody. Stop being so fucking judgmental. Judgy. It's not us. Am I the ass? <laughs> My wife, female 29, and three weeks of her friend. Uh, three, weeks. three weeks of her friends? Whoopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. I can't fucking read. Okay. It's okay. My wife, female 29, and three of her friends. 
female 31, female 30, and female 27, mm. were invited to attend a bachelorette party by another friend in the city where my sister lives. Oh. After spending a good amount on plane tickets and not wanting to spend more on a hotel or Airbnb, I, male 30, thought it would be a good idea if my wife and her friends crashed at my sister's, female 25, place for the few days they would be staying. Did you ask your sister? My sister is training to be a pharmacist, and with financial help from our parents, she is able to rent an apartment. Okay. I told my wife my plan, and she agreed to it. I then called my sister and what? let her know about our plan, <laughs> and after some persuasion, she agreed. Holy shit. Things went smoothly, and my wife and her friends had a great time. The trouble started the day after they left. My parents paid my sister a visit the day after my wife and her friends had left and noted that her house was a mess. Apparently... Dishes had piled up and napkins were thrown all around the house. My dad called me angrily then and, and told me that the uh, my dad called me angrily then and told me that the apartment was for my sister and not a hangout for my wife and her friends. Mm -hmm. In addition to making a mess, they also borrowed my sister's car for a day what and according fuck? to him, left the fuel tank basically empty. Holy shit. I told my wife about it, and she did admit to some dishes and using the car, but confidently told me that neither was too bad. My wife was offended that my dad was nitpicking the situation, and to be honest, so was I. I called my sister and asked her what had happened. She did say that there was a mess, but not parentheses, but nothing that she couldn't handle. And my parents only saw it because they had arrived only a day after my wife and her friends left. Seeing that my wife was still distressed about the situation... I asked my sister if she could apologize to her for the misunderstanding. My sister agreed to apologize, but was no longer willing to clean herself and insisted that I pay for a cleaner for her apartment and a tank of gas. Hmm. I thought this was petty and told her not to try to shake me down for cash. She got flustered and then said she had to go. Am I the asshole? Yeah. Yes, bro. Straight up, like You're inviting yourself to your sister's house, and also like your sister seemed cool about it. Like she was gonna clean it up until you demanded an apology. Yeah, and that was like, all right, but like now you. Okay, you're you know gonna, what? If you're, you're gonna, gonna escalate this, I'll escalate, motherfucker. Yeah, you know. And I saw um a long time ago a post about like someone using uh some sister or someone's coat basically yeah. like a. Some like a guy, his wife used his sister's coat and ruined it. Yeah, and the coat was very expensive. So now the sister's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do because I like this coat. And now I'm out like four hundred, five hundred dollars, yeah. and I they're not gonna pay for the fucking coat, and I feel very disrespected. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And um, someone told her like tell her husband about it because it was like husband's sister so it was like her sister-in-law or something mm -hmm. and the husband then contacted the sister and uh, his sister and was like hey so we have insurance on this coat so what you can do is either pay us the four hundred dollars or we can make an insurance claim and the insurance claim will force you to pay more oh shit so basically <laughs> It's like we can go to court. We can go to fucking over this court right now. And then the sister in law was like, "No, I'll pay four hundred dollars." She goes, "Well, see, we tried that, but you said no." And that's what I think your sister should do. And that's yeah. kind of what she's doing, where she's like, "All right, yeah, if you want to like litigate, if wanna, yeah, if you want to go here, yeah, if you want to fucking arbitrate this shit, then I'm calling, yeah, I'm going right now. these I'm are a my lawyer. fucking terms. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come on, pay for a cleaner for pay my for fucking a goddamn house. cleaner. Yeah, because I'm not doing any of this shit. And I think that's a baller. I think that's a yeah, baller, I think it's baller as well. Yeah, Reminds me, yeah. I don't know. It's really interesting how little people are going to take responsibility for making mistakes. Remember the the uh, the the person that was renting a house or a room in the house mm -hmm. and they had oh, access yeah. to the game room yeah and then they destroyed it's like i'm not fucking paying for that <laughs> yeah people are crazy people yeah just won't fucking like dude no i don't know man i remember like i accidentally <laughs> uh like like during covid like i just bumped the back end of my car Mm -hmm. Into some guy, he's <laughs> like car in a Seven Eleven. Oh yeah, you told me. I that. got all the. Uh, you were there for this. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember and that. all that happened was maybe a little bit of scrape of paint. And that guy freaked out. Dude. Freaked out, and I had more damage on my car. You I was, did, and I was like, dude, look at. I should have been like, dude, look at my fucking car. <laughs> no, and he was. He came to me and like asked me if there was something wrong with you. 
Oh, did really? I not tell you that? I don't think you did. I thought I did, but yeah, he came. He like it was at like two a.m. Yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, it was just like a mistake. Like you were just super tired, and you just turned and you accidentally bumped yeah, into this like guy. Yeah, like I was reversing out of the parking spot. Yeah, and he was super upset because he was like a new truck, and now he, has to, he was like, I gotta go. He made a whole big deal. I was like, oh, I got to go to a body shop and it's going to be like $300 and oh my God. It was like really hyper inflating it. And then he came to me and was like, what's wrong with him? Like, why did he fucking do that? And I was like, bro, he's just tired. And it was like, yeah, but I mean, he shouldn't be driving if he's that tired. And I was like, okay, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, he should have said I was autistic. You know, he, it's just, you know, people make a big fucking deal to get money. Yeah. That right, was the yeah. biggest thing. And, and he was like, and we asked him, it was one of those things. He knew that he, I think he was the one that brought up the payment, right? Yeah. And like, yeah. Instead of just going to insurance. Yeah. Because he didn't want his insurance to hike up. You or know, whatever. Or yeah. whatever. And so he was like, yeah, I guess 250 would work. And so, we yeah. paid 250. And yeah. But we paid it. Never yeah. Like, I don't know. I know he made a mistake. Insurance. Yeah. And like, I don't know. Like, it's still shitty to get like strong armed, but also like, if you fuck up. Yeah. Own up to it. Don't yeah, exactly. Be, don't be. Yeah. Come on. No. Yeah, for sure. God, people are dicks. People. Yeah. People are dicks for sure. Solve that shit, though. Are you fucking ready for this one? You saved the best for last? It. I don't know if it's the best. Okay. This is maybe one of my favorite posts. <laughs> okay. And uh, think of me what you will. Okay. All right. So I can judge you about why this is your favorite. Okay, good. I like that. I like that I can judge you. This is from Am I Wrong? R slash Am I Wrong? All right. Am I Wrong? Was I wrong for playing with my girlfriend's mom's dead body? What? No, no, you no. Wait, no. This is this is bait. Oh, I don't care. I don't care if it's bait, but uh, it's bait. I know it is. What you did you finger a corpse? No, no, it's not sexual. Okay, it's not sexual. All right, I wouldn't Vanessa read it if it was fucking. sexual. That would be crazy. <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> ass. Fucking. Holy shit! That's another level of finger gate. That's yeah, finger um, gate. Oh god, okay. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. It's not sexual at all. Okay, all it's right. Not. Okay, good. Okay. So this month, her mom was on hospice, and she and her were staying in an apartment until she died. Oh, I, I, I know where this is actually kind of going now. I, okay. She okay. was oh, on no. it for eight days, and she just died yesterday morning. During that time, we both were in the room sitting down in a chair. My girlfriend got up and went to the kitchen and started calling different places, and she was calling family members and everything. I was left in the room by myself, and her body was right there. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I started having an intrusive thought. The thought was... No, no, because I, I... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> the thought was, what would happen if I messed around with her body in a playful way? <laughs> <laughs> it somehow feels like a WikiHow article. Yeah. Like how to mess around with a dead body in a playful way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is uh-huh. the, it's the fucking painting and it's like <laughs> I, and then, uh, yeah, fucking okay and it's just someone uh-huh. holding like a dead corpse making him go like Fuck. it's just it's weekend at bernie's is what you're doing that's all you're fucking doing <laughs> i yeah it's more weekend oh, at bernie's no my oh, girlfriend God. is in the other room i'm by myself let's get that fucking yeah. straight already <laughs> <laughs> Coast is clear, boys. I, I looked at the doorway to see if she was coming. <laughs> so much planning. So much like you know what you're doing is wrong. And you're like looking over your shoulder. I waited a few seconds and then I did my move and I started moving her mouth like she was pretend talking and moving her hand. <laughs> when I was doing it, I was thinking in my head what she was saying. That doesn't help. That doesn't. It's it, not. Well, how's that going to help it your case? Awfully makes it more realistic because I guess that's what I would do if I, I guess, decided to play with a dead body and, and just be like, yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh God! Oh my God, dude! Holy shit. And right in the middle of it, my girlfriend walked in and I stopped immediately and I got scared. Yeah. 
Because you're playing with a da- Bro. Bro, if I walked in, like my mom dying, right? 30 years from now. Really? My mom. This whole thing sucks. My Flower? fucking. My fu- If I walk into the room. And Cause you're- yeah, I would murder someone <laughs> yeah, if my dead dad. Yeah, someone was yeah, like playing with my dead yeah. dad's mouth. This little piggy went to market. This I little th- piggy I went think- in a grave. I don't even yeah, think I, I would I- think I- immediately. It just <laughs> happened. Yeah, <laughs> she just died. She just died. You're busy calling. I'm calling, All and you come family. in, and you're fucking. You're, Bro, you pull that shit with life if someone pulled that shit with, with like, a dog or with a, a dog or, or a cat like Leolo, like yeah. laying down, and I just came back, and you're like. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. For it'd be papa's. <laughs> it's a papa's party. I would fucking oh, go berserk. Yeah. I think I would just like, you know? And I I'm wouldn't. Just, and if I were the one doing I wouldn't have this thought. I mean, who knows? You could have, okay, you could have this thought, but it is leagues more insane to start to, do to it? be. It to, it's, it's like you're driving down a road. Everyone has the intrusive thought, I'm going to drive into that tree. Everyone has that. Thought. Everyone has that thought. Everyone right? has intrusive thoughts. Like yeah. let's let's be honest here. Everyone. But has if intrusive if thought. is you and I in the car, like I'm Tim fucking Heidecker and on cinema, and I just yeah, drive us off the road. Don't do that. Yeah, no, no, it's bad to do. Christ, <laughs> and on set, I forgot he did that. Oh <laughs> my god, and yeah. they showed it in the fucking. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, on the Oscar special. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that was really harrowing. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay. This is a lot to take in. Oh, all so right. I, he was scared. He's scared. He's scared. Um, and right in the middle, middle of it, my girlfriend walked in, and I stopped immediately, and I got scared, which is like, boo hoo. I feel boo a little bit for who. this guy. I don't know. It's like, aw. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like but you're a little like, kid. Yeah, you're. Yeah, because this is like a little, little kid a little would kid do. Little kid thing. Yeah. She asked me what I was doing. I told her I was just shaking her hand in a way of saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I I'm feel sorry. like the I'm curb so your enthusiasm theme needs to play or yes, something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For oh. sure. Oh my god. Damn. It's not what it appeared to be or looked like. I told her m- more. I talked to her more, and eventually my girlfriend let it go. Even after letting it go, she did not seem pleased. And that is the end of the post. <laughs> That's it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't with that. That's how you end it? Oh my god, dude. I don't know. There are I, some people calling this guy a psychopath. I don't know if I, don't, I, I wouldn't go that far. I think he's just, I don't know. I, there, I mean, I don't know. That's so weird. I think I think you had an intrusive thought and you went a little too far with yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I think. I yeah. think, yeah. And like, I don't know, because that is fucking crazy. Is like, just died. Like, I... It, and it really feels like and either this guy is like, just mentally, like, not past a child. Yeah. I, because it feels like when I was a kid... One, okay, one time when I was a kid, I was in my aunt's, like, bedroom and she had a, a phone like a landline phone because I'm old. Yeah, and, um, boomer. And I picked up the phone and I was like, rah, 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 rah. I was like six years old. And I was like, yeah, rah, 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 business, business, business. And uh, my aunt on the other line goes, Leanne, is that you? She was on the phone and I picked up the landline and I fucked up whatever phone call she had and I hung up. Because I was like, oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Busted. I mean, she fucking knew it was me for sure, because I'm a six year old in the room yeah. with the only other landline in that. Exactly, <laughs> right? Yeah, but like still. But like it how does it feels the same as yeah, like I get what you it's mean. just inappropriate because it's a dead body and you're an adult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ah, that is I'm gonna look at the ages again, actually. Yeah, or the ages, yeah. Oh wait, we don't know. Because it's, oh, uh, it's, am, am I wrong? wrong? Yeah, it's not like there are uh, no rules. God. Oh, uh, that's a wild fucking story. <laughs> Roman, oh, Roman from Succession ass fucking energy. Can we get him out? Can we get him out? God, I mean, listen, grief. Grief does crazy things to a motherfucker. I'll agree with that. Yeah. I, your girlfriend's allowed to be upset, though. Yeah, your girl. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. I don't know if I would call him a psychopath. Though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. Solve it. <laughs> you were wrong just, to do that. You were wrong wow. to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's wrong. It's not. <sighs> it's not good. All right. Final story of the night, everybody. 
Ooh. That's just, yeah. Promoted by Trojan brand condoms. By the way, I don't know why I'm getting condom fucking ads. Don't have kids. Yeah, don't have kids. No, grow up to play with your dead body. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bryce, all right. Shit. Am I the asshole for choosing to take my boss to a charity event over my fiance? I saw this one. I, 25 male, started working at my company about a year ago. My boss, 48 male, and I really hit it off, so much so that he frequently visits and sleeps on the couch in our basement. My fiancé, 23 female, and I have lived together for several years now, and just recently built a house together, so it has plenty of space and she doesn't mind him staying in the basement, but they don't interact much. Months ago, I purchased tickets for a local charity event that I had taken my fiancé to last year. I did not indicate that I would take her this year, but she assumed the second ticket was for her. No communication. Already. I good. mean, that's your fiance, right? Yeah. Last evening, we had a difficult code deployment that my boss and I were up quite late for. After its success, we had a nightcap and I mentioned the charity event this weekend, and he mentioned he had always wanted to go. So I invited him to go under my second ticket. He was elated, and I thought also this would be good for my career progression, as charity is a cornerstone of the company we work for. I told my fiance this morning that my boss had never been to the event and was excited to go. She said that we would all have a great time as last year. Oh, it was no. so much fun. Oh, no. I then told her that there were only two tickets and she wasn't going. Needless to say, she was pissed. Tickets are sold out already, so I can't just buy another. I told her that she needs to be considerate of my career progression and that I can always take her again next year. That's the post. That's the end of the post. That's it, baby. So wait, in the beginning, did you say that the boss lives with them? They sometimes sleeps on the couch. Allegedly. That's fucking weird. That is very weird. (laughs) I don't know. That's strange. Yeah, very. you're letting your boss... I think he's already indebted to you. I don't think you need to also, like, plan dates with him. Yeah, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fuck. God. Yeah, it's weird. You're dating... You're kind of... I mean, you're dating your boss. You're dating your boss a little bit. It's two dudes, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still could be dates. Yeah, they could still be dating. Gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gay month. Yeah. <laughs> Try a I little gay. I think we're gay. getting lost in the sauce here. So. Um, but yeah, so. I think it's very relevant. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, right? It's it's weird. It is weird. That, I don't know. You, you want to spend more time with your boss than your than fiance. Your fiance, yeah. And also, like, not saying your fiance not just explicitly saying listen i got two tickets i don't know if you're going though <laughs> i don't know yeah it's yeah, weird it's still weird yeah but i think it was that i okay they were dancing around the language but i think they intended to bring their fiance and then at the last minute switched it around and gave the ticket to their boss yeah because they're a stupid fuck yeah right and uh then the fiance is like I thought that was me. And then they were like, actually, no, I decided my boss is more important than you. Yeah, because, you know, my career. Think about my career. Yeah. It's no. It's crazy. Yeah, no, don't. It's just wild to me. I don't, people are people fucking are strange. Fucking strange, yeah. It's, when you know, like, um, how to be nice and, like, manners. Yeah. People are weird. Other people are fucking weird. It just kind of feels like you're going into, like, chaos. Sometimes you have no idea how you think anyone else is going to react. Yeah, I get that. Because they could just choose to be the worst people on the fucking planet. You know yeah, what I mean? Right, yeah. God. I, yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. I don't know what to say about this one. It's I just know, like, yeah. yeah, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. Yeah, I feel I, that. That's how I feel a lot of, a lot about these where it's like, yeah, no, yeah, you're, you you're suck. <laughs> yeah, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. No human being. Should fucking would ever have this thought of like ah fuck my fiance yeah exactly God I feel that yeah you know, nice simple one to end off simple you know? and simple. solved it solved it that's our show yeah we did it we did do it Wait, I want to I want to applaud us because like we said we we're gonna record it too and we recorded we it, did too. Record it we too we did yeah and, and we got yeah it's basically six yeah go us dude that's we're trying to get I on a schedule yeah yeah Sarah on that schedule what do you want plug. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at that's so herein, T H A T S O H E E R O N, and that's also my handle for Tumblr, TikTok, Instagram, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Joshua Chinland on Twitter. I got nicknamed JC on TikTok and technically Twitch, even though I don't stream. And also, maybe I won't go back to him. 
Who knows? I know they already reverted their ads, but also like I am monetized there, so it fucking sucks. Yeah, I get stuck that. there. Uh, a podcast will save this on Instagram, Facebook, APWSTR Productions on YouTube, APWSTR mm-hmm. on TikTok and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, raise mm-hmm. five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts. Indeed. And check out our Patreon and buy me coffee at those websites forward slash APWSTR. Mm-hmm. And that is our show, baby. That's it. We're done. Mm, yep. Bye. Mm, bye. What would you do to a dead body? Other, not sexual. Not if it sexual. was like totally cool, no one's gonna yell at you. Uh, <laughs> not sexual. Stuff it and like keep it like you know like JD's dog. <laughs> like a taxidermy. Yeah, taxidermy. Yeah. Okay. Into like wacky positions. Like what kind of wacky position? Like whoa, and then like so okay. <laughs> like, it, it, whoa. Yeah. So, okay. Here's That's my. That's good my, for the audio <laughs> listeners. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh no. So I would uh I would have this requires multiple dead bodies. Uh huh. <laughs> I. Yeah? Uh, I would have one of them break dancing on cardboard and then other people going like, whoa, what? Crazy. <laughs> yeah. And then someone holding a boombox. Yeah, yeah okay. I would, I would need four and you I need would four. need them to spell out YMCA with their arms. That's good. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we're on two FBI lists. We're Imagine the- you walk into a YMCA and you see <laughs> four taxidermy human beings it'd be like one of those like science museum exhibits where they like take a dead person body that's like donated their body to science so a scientist i don't think anyone chop- has that yet their- <laughs> i don't think yeah. any any museum well, has this is that. just the this is the continuation of that you oh, okay know? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is where we're heading to as a society as an enlightened culture yeah yeah they're just meat and bones yeah not a big deal you're just it meat is, and bones. It it's not a big deal. It Sarah is a big deal. In. Okay, shit. I'm going to put that as the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you're just meat and bones. It's not you're a big deal. It's not a big deal, yeah. <laughs>